Hello and welcome to another action-packed episode of Nick and John is This Evangelion. Special episode today. I swear. And also, it's always a nightmare to say every time it comes about. Like, Nick and John like, is This. It's so good on paper. Yeah. And it's so hard to it say out loud. It looks great in the logo, but saying it out loud is tough. But joining us today... Special guest. For an impartial opinion on how terrible our, th- our title is. <laughs> the best title ever. It's Alex. Hello, Alex. Hello. Alex, the legendary business owner. I own a business, that's yeah. correct. Comic shop. Homeowner. Of- <laughs> Soon, to be. Soon to be homeowner, <laughs> homeowner and business, business owner. Atomic Comics and Games, yes, in Yeovil, Somerset, Lovers Walk. Quality shop. So what? Um, so what brings you here? Don't you have a, a, a shop successful shop? establishment I'm so to run? Successful that other people <gasps> also work in the establishment, so I can drive to Cheltenham to do podcasts about cartoons from the nineties. Fantastic. With you know people I met at conventions. Arguably a better use of your time. Yeah, I think really I could go I could go full time on the Evangelion Rewatch podcast scene. Yeah, well we'll soon be doing that as well. So Well yeah. That's the plan of course. The next step is profit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just working out that middle one. Just yeah. keep doing it until <laughs> so, the money comes. But somewhat incredibly you you've actually listened to the show. I have. So far. You're a yeah. fan of the show. I, yeah. I, am. I love the show. I I I'm a fan of, of the two of you. Oh. Well, so when I found out you were doing it, and also I'm a fan of Evangelion, I think you're gonna... There's a very complex Venn similar. diagram here where I feel it's like... Uh, <laughs> fans of Nick, fans Watched of Evangelion. Yeah. Fans of their comics I'd... also listens to this podcast they do, and somewhere like in the middle. Something, or, you know, cares a little bit about them as well, somewhere. Yeah, you know, yeah. I, I, I would consider you friends. And I think oh, well, yeah. we'd consider I, you a friend, my man. Yeah, so, I'm, you know, I'm quite, I, I think... You know, it's quite a fun thing to listen to. You know, if I'm, I'm pottering around, I put it on. I think, it's like I'm sitting down with friends and reminiscing. I'm, I'm interested from a market research perspective. Yes. No, not really. But I, I'm interested. How do you always watch the show that we're about to talk about? No. So you no. tend to like re-enjoy the episode I, from what we're saying. Yeah, I recently, well, I say recently, about just over a year ago, maybe I re-watched Evangelion. Oh, okay. So I, like my friend hadn't seen it. And I sat down and watched it with him. So relatively re-familiar with it. Kind yeah, of. yeah, it's kind of. And I guess I watched it a lot at college. So yeah, <laughs> like <laughs> bits of it stick in your head. I but you see, this is interesting because this might be a good actually, you know, as a little kind of icebreaker. Yeah. Like, oh, how did you first come across Evangelion? Because I, I think something that we've talked about in the past is that college, university seems to be the time yeah, when yeah, you yeah, discover it. In your life. So there's a guy that I was at school with, um, who was called Sheldon. <laughs> um, yeah, like like off the bad ah, TV show. Probably, yeah. um, <laughs> He loves that, I think. I don't know. I haven't I seen it. I bet he does. I bet he loves it. He liked anime, and this was like. Obviously was he your anime nice. friend? He kind of was, and he had like VHSs that he'd got from friends oh, of Sailor Moon, and I watched Sailor Moon. Yeah. He had a Sailor Moon fan site on GeoCities, that kind of thing. He was, <laughs> he was good. And he had a hoodie that had Ray Iron Army on it, and I didn't Whoa. know who she was, but I knew what Evangelion was from that. I, like, I recognised it. And then I think in Our Price, which again dates the story somewhat. Oh my goodness, Our Price. Yeah, you know. Yeah, I think they had a DVD in there of it was Death and Rebirth. And I was like, oh, that's the thing that was on Sheldon's hoodie. So I bought it and I watched it. And I was like, this is amazing. I love this. I don't know what is happening, but I know I like it. And that was, I think, probably, yeah, like my first year of college. So then I just got hooked on it. And I had a few friends who were into anime as well. That's the we first were... emotional response, isn't it? I don't know what's happening. Yeah, it's just but like I think kind I like of, it. I kind of like it. It's, it's very intense, I think, because yeah. what's good about you. Like, there's so much and you don't really understand it. So you like you want you want to know what's going on maybe. <laughs> yeah. So you're like and, and you feel like watching the show will help you understand that and then yeah. you realise that, that it's that... literally the opposite. Yeah, actually. no. Yeah, you not need... watching a show helps you understand yeah. it. <laughs> Reading <laughs> Eva Geeks. Other, other things. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Do, do we all have a friend? Who introduced us? Are we worrying that it might be the same person who well, travels? My point from is, like, I, I wearing masks. I, it's, I think it's kind of rare to meet someone who was the guy who oh, introduced yeah. people. It's, it's almost like an you urban see, I, legend. Everybody has yeah. someone. I didn't have a friend who introduced me to specifically to Evangelion, but I did have a friend who introduced me to anime. And um, like your friend was sort yeah. of like that guy who had access to the kind of weirdly illicit, like well, it, isn't it? restricted stuff. It's not like now, obviously, you got. The kids these days, yeah, they want to watch. The they don't anime. even know they're born. They've got it on Netflix. You can illegally watch it on the internet. You got your you, crunchy rolls. You got you, there are there are rolls involved. Um, whereas when we when we were young, back in the mists of time, you know, yeah, it yeah, was you had to have, have like a weird video in an a, old battered cardboard yeah, like, sleeve. What is Sailor Moon R? Why is that written on? Yeah. the sticker of this, you know, the what are these big eye cartoons? Where did that? Where did he get it from? I don't know. Like, but... it's almost like I gave the impression it was something. It was very car boot sale-y Yeah, kind of yeah, yeah, massively. Yeah, yeah. yeah there was, there was always like a uh, a price label stuck on it, wasn't there? Or something. <laughs> there was like this one shop in Gloucester because we didn't have a comic shop when I was 
young, but there was this one shop which sold comics right. and also drugs paraphernalia. Oh, yes. oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But the what, bong shop. <laughs> no, oh. no, the ornament shop. They oh. never. They were very. We oh, don't sell drugs. Shop. We merely sell yeah, we stuff associated with the culture. They, they, they sell bongs, hockey sticks, <laughs> um, counterfeit <laughs> For smashing bongs. metal band T-shirts, and little ornaments of like. Cottage, you know, like those little, oh, those little ceramic cottage. houses that grandparents yeah. have. I've been in yeah. that shop. Caves. Yes. Yeah, it's yeah. great. It's been there forever. It's the best, like, it's the best shop in Yeovil. It's so bizarre. But I love it. Yeah. Speaking as a, a uh, store as a, owner. As a, as a business owner. <laughs> you know, I can we need to keep authority. driving that point home. Well, it's because yeah. I am a business You are a business owner. It's not a point we have to drive home. It's self evident. Yeah, okay, sorry. sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. I seem to remember, like, because the guy who introduced me to anime, who was also a listener. So, hey, Sam. Hey, Sam. Yo, yo. I think he told me. About Evangelion when I was when I was like in secondary school after we first met, but he, I don't think he owned it, and we certainly didn't okay. watch it. He just described it to me, and I seem to remember him <laughs> saying that like this is so that's a conversation how it I want to hear. Like, like yeah, but I, one I thing I remember is thing. him saying that Shinji like, and the main guy, he's terrified of everything. <laughs> you know, like at life. You know, I love that. And that's, would that's, be... the, that's the synopsis. That is really yeah. So basically young boy terrified robots enjoy love it. Yeah, it's great. Tell your kids. But I think I don't think then I touched it or, or even knew like it just it just disappeared from my consciousness until maybe when I was at uni and I don't even know what it was but I think I was reading it was like a wiki in the early days of Wikipedia oh. I think there was like a Wikipedia loop and I was falling deeper and deeper into a hole <laughs> spiraling all been there. I, and then somehow that linked me to the angels of Evangelion right. and then I was like what is this what why would be and in those days a lot of it was on YouTube. That's right. You, you used to watch to this clips late, on YouTube. You? I did. I watched um, End of Evangelion was my gateway drug into Evangelion. See, my gateway was buying uh, an Evangelion art book in France when I was on a choir trip with high school. Uh, and I must have been that's like a good origin story. Year ten, year eleven region. So I must have been like sixteen, seventeen. Yeah, that's uh, had this tiny amount of euros that I'd been given uh, for the trip. I blew it all. On this book that had a robot on the cover, and I literally knew nothing about it at all. But it was didn't, a really cool book. Didn't eat all week. Nope, no food. Flick through. I was like, "Is all these characters? There's all these like uh, pencil drawings of like Shinji and Misato and everything." I'm just I like, "I had that book." I, I don't, did you? Yeah, I've got I it over so, here. Yeah. I can show it to you in a minute after this. Um, I was like, "I don't know who any of these characters are. What are these robots? What are these? This is all awesome." And then I ended up buying DVD by DVD of the volumes from there yeah. on, trying to discover it and spending huge amounts of money on a proto Amazon. Because we were talking about trying to get it. This just before we started recording, but like they were expensive. Yeah, you're gonna get like three episodes on a disc, and it was and we're a watching lot of money. those ones now. Those very ones I bought back then. Those are the ones we're watching for this. Podcast. They were sort of drip fed. That was the really yeah. aggravating thing. I remember buying them all because, like I said, we we used to travel up. We made like a pilgrimage to Bristol every so often from Yeovil. And we'd go to Forbidden Planet and spend all our money. <laughs> like one of our, our friend who could drive would go. And we'd go there. And there was always the hope that there'd be a new Evangelion waiting for you there. So <laughs> yeah. And then we'd all go home and watch it together. But like, it was so frustrating that it took so long. Like nine to times out of ten. Presumably it, it was, it must have already you know, long finished at this point. So yeah. Right? And then I remember when it had finished, they released some fancy box set where it was like, oh, it's been digitally remastered. And I was like, oh, thanks. Uh... Thanks for that. And it came in a <laughs> fancy silver box. And I was like, wow. Oh, well, I've seen that one. Yeah, it's yeah fancy, I know it? what you mean. Because around the time I first met Lucy, and I was desperately trying to impress her, we're getting married in January, so it, it worked. worked. But I wanted to, I wanted <laughs> to be like you know, not like a mixtape. I was like, I want to, I want to pour my heart out. I want to impress Lucy. I'll buy her oh, some no. Evangelion. Oh, like, that's, that's, be, that's the way to win. That's the I'd, way to a girl. I think heart. I probably did. Some of that. <laughs> and I, I did briefly look into that massive box set and I was like I don't want to impress her that much like, that's, yeah, that's a lot of that point. that's a lot of money yeah. <laughs> good wedding gift though oh yes. a full circle absolutely yeah. the kid, I could just hear a chuckle yeah I was going to say there was like a noise there it's still time to the wedding darling if, you, if you're listening <laughs> but um actually I realised I'm getting these weird flashbacks now it's like repressed memories but I remember going on an American holiday we were on holiday to America and oh, that's why it was called an American holiday. An American holiday, yeah. yeah. American Hol- that's that new um it's on Netflix, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Starring Adam Sandler. <laughs> I always go for like an American horror story. Oh, okay. Oh, ah, okay. It, was we to, we it wasn't a very races. good joke, so it's alright. <laughs> the um but no, we went to uh, a mall. A mall? How do you say it? A mall. 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 I say a shopping in... centre. <laughs> <laughs> I say an out of town department store. And business owner. next to the gun shop, there was a gun <laughs> shop. <laughs> that's <laughs> the best. 
<laughs> next to, to the, the gun, gun shop, of <laughs> yeah. course. I remember thinking, like, oh, I could have bought a taser. And next to it oh. was an action figure shop. And they had a load of those Gundams, the you know. Load, load of those Gundams. Those foreign robots that everybody right. loves. Them. And um, I got a little, um, got a, a Eva Unit 1 model, which is about Ooh. that big, maybe Where's six inches now? tall. I don't know. I had loads of them. I'm thinking I, about I, it. I had a whole. Ra- I bought a load of them in, in Forbidden Planet in London. They have a weird kind of like time. slightly rubbery plastic, like yes. ever so slightly bendy, but oh, these not were like really... proper. I had. I maybe they were different. They were like proper action figures that I had. And they, I had one. I had like a unit one and a unit two and a unit. They zero. Were, were they articulated? Or? Yeah. Oh, they were. Pro- and they had like, like loads of accessories head. and different heads and things. And I yeah. wanted to get. I bought quite a few of the uh, mass production Avers. Oh, brilliant! Oh. So oh. To create a little diorama. I don't think I ever got that many. But like, I have a personal love. Of them, I, I, I have. Yeah. We talk about designing stuff a lot, me and Nick, and I have a thing about things with no eyes and weird mouths. Yeah, and stuff. whale faces. That's the only figure I still have is a production Ava, um, with, and that's fully articulated, really nice figure, um, holding a lance of Longinus. Spoilers, um, <laughs> but they it also came with in a box a disembowelled Unit Two oh. in like, yeah, a, no, in like yes. a pool of blood. Yeah, I remember it now. Yeah, and all I had it live. <laughs> <laughs> For listeners, Alex is, is Sorry, acting yeah, out a moment, but has yet to appear in the TV show. But <laughs> something to look forward to. Again, spoilers there. Yeah, so. but yeah. no, it's quite disgusting because like the, the the unit two bit isn't articulated or anything. It's just a puddle. The, the arm was. Oh, was the arm? Yeah, the arm uh, went up I've got, down, it, in, I I've got it in a drawer upstairs. Oh, I'm sure it was. It's like if it was sold in a shop, it would be like a plastic front, like new, begging uh, for mercy action, and like yeah. pull like a switch. Oscar and the, dying. The arm kind of twitches. <laughs> so kind of. In, in business owner related information that I have, um, recently in one of our catalogs we have for the action figures, Great there, was, there was a, a, a unit one. I was like, oh, cool. You know, because I always look at the that stuff. I was like, all oh, right, and it was $700. What? Yeah, right, but, right, it's about three feet tall. Oh. And and it, you get into you it. could get a triple pack of them of each of the <laughs> Avers, and it was like, I, yeah, I, I might have even been more expensive than that. I think it was like nearly three thousand dollars for all three. And yeah, who? That's the kind of purchase which, yeah. at some point, you're gonna have to explain to the grandkids why. <laughs> yeah, well, no, because you probably won't have them because you'll be destitute. And you won't know, like, but yeah. at least you'll have your <laughs> just hugging like, them. It makes you wonder, like, is there enough of a mar- like? It must be popular enough that. They, they think they can produce enough of those to... And this is what's so incredible yeah. about Evangelion, is that the, this show has been off the air for ages. And people aren't sharp about it. No, and there's yeah. new figures being made, and we're making a there's podcast a, there's about a mod, it. Yeah. Yeah. There's I, at least one podcast about it. Well, here's the thing. The other day, I, I was thinking, like, I wonder if we've, in an odd way, kind of cornered the market. Like, You're I, the niche. I was like, what I, is our reach? I, 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 reckon, I, I was thinking, like, I bet no one else is doing an episode-by-episode episode rewatch. So I googled <laughs> Evangelion rewatch podcast. There's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we weren't even we page are, three. We are not original. <laughs> Do any of them have clever names like Nick and John? Is this no, none of them are that no, good. No. So Yeah, no, I was going to steal the idea, actually, but me and my friend Sean couldn't like, work it into the, you know, Alex and We just decided Sean. we weren't ultimately doesn't, motivated enough. The so. name's not there. <laughs> it doesn't, you, and that means you can't do it. Without a funny name, what is a podcast? Exactly. So, yeah. Sean G... Oh, no, there's a, there's a beginning. Gion, Gion, G and Alex. No. Yeah. Um, no. Yeah, no, it doesn't work. Which is why we didn't do it. Anyway. Yes. Anyway. This episode, which oh boy. is our tenth, our episode, tenth podcast episode, but the episode nine of the show. Episode nine of the show because we stuck in the movie. I was yeah, keep reminding title. everyone at the start of every episode. Just because because someone's going to go, but this is meant to be episode ten. Yeah. Which is clearly... We're inevitably going to get an angry email. What is the name of this episode? Because it's, it's they had two, names, two, John. had two titles. Yeah, as always, it's Nick. got the English title and then the translated Japanese title, right? So the English title is "Both of You Dance Like You Want to Win," which is a brilliant title to a That's, mecha anime. Yeah, episode. it's pretty good. That's yeah. what sells me on this episode. The other favorite. title is "Moment and Heart Together." No, see, that's rubbish. That yeah, is quite rubbish. I'm not watching that show. That's like, that's like Both of you dance like you want to win. Way, I, I feel. <laughs> yeah. Uh, which in Japanese is Shunkan Kokoro Kasanete, if you're wondering. That's good pronunciation. Thank you. Probably. Well, so, I, that's also not a bad segue, because when we started watching the episode, we yeah, got whoops. about three minutes in. No, no, that's a lie. Maybe <laughs> 30 seconds in. And we realised, oh, we're watching it with the English dub. Yeah, which because we, we changed DVD. It was seamless, settings though, wasn't remembered. it? Yeah. It's how good the English dub is. That yeah, because we switched to notice. subtitles. And... <laughs> <laughs> we're thinking like... Cause we, we, weren't, think. <laughs> we weren't massively impressed at the start anyway, because we were like, it's a bit of an odd opening. It's, yeah. a, it's a bad opening, let's yeah. be honest. Well, no, because it's a different culture over there, isn't it? And, um, <laughs> we, that's we, my go-to <laughs> excuse. <laughs> we, we make a lot of excuses. If you watch Evangelion with people, you have to be like, no, you see, because um, in Japan, 14... 
Um, Alex, I think slipping, mm. I think slipping photos that you've taken of a high school girl into special plastic sleeves yep. to keep them safe. But that's that's creepy in anyone's book, isn't it? Well, you don't want them to be damaged. <laughs> and you got to think about the. So he's selling them for thirty yen, there, wasn't he? Is that how, how much does a protective sleeve cost? How much does it cost to print the photo? What's his what margin? are your overheads? What, yeah, exactly. maybe he's hiring Toji. How did he you get got them you know so pension? We, we saw him taking the photo. We should we should um, Alex, there's a bit of context as our guest. Yes. Do you want to describe a scenario that led to these? What, how does the episode open? Rather lewd. Oh, discussions. Wow, so it's 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 Toji and Kensuke, isn't it? It is. Sort of voiceover of some very excitingly animated uh, <laughs> still images <laughs> hey, of Asuka. No expense was spared. They, they drew at least seven cells, I think. For maybe, that. maybe maybe less. Uh, they could have actually <laughs> live drawn this episode, that, yeah. actually. Yeah. Yeah, I'd not, argue that would be possible. Would not have been too much of a strain on the animated yeah, so it's, it's, it's the two of that. Well, is it the two of that? I, I've I forgotten in the, the, the short interim between watching it. <laughs> voicing over, chatting about her to sort of introduce her, to remind us who she is, I suppose. Yeah, because we've forgotten since the last episode. Because remember the uh, shock ending of the previous episode where it's like, oh, <gasps> and Asuka's coming to school. She's yeah. the new student. I smell a sitcom. <laughs> and, and yeah, and they're basically just perving over her. Yeah, yeah massive. But like, it's, it's a different culture over there. Um, you can't keep saying that. It's, it doesn't I'm make going, it right. So it's going to be my signature line. I like business um, owner. Yeah, that as well. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so it's, it's not great. There are some shots of the girls changing... Yeah, 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 and you're like, there's some close ups. Just actually, upskirt, telefocal shots. lens, kind of just taking photos of. It's just smart. Her. It is just smart. smart. But but again, it's very tame smart, as we've well, often yeah, talked about safe, with with the, with the Japanese uh, anime smut. If you listen very carefully, you'll hear backpedaling. <laughs> 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 but it's like you could almost be. Char- I'm trying to be charitable here, but you could almost say it's it's gonna say hi, see, it's world building, it's <laughs> exposition. In a very subtle way, because they're saying stuff like, "Hey, have you seen Asuka? Yeah. Asuka, who oh, the new the transfer, transfer student. student from Germany? Oh, I, I, I bet she broke up with her boyfriend." Blah, blah, yeah. That does justify all the. the I think it justifies. Smart, the panties, it makes it? it essential. Yeah, I think it's without important. that, we wouldn't know what was going on. No. We would not. That's very. Uh, it probably wouldn't have captured our attention as much either. No, and we wouldn't have anything to talk stuff. about. No, no. no. But you have. Often, we've often Blessing. we've often talked about <laughs> being able to see the seams of where they're trying to save money, <laughs> and uh, yeah, you know this. This is one of the more creative ways of doing it because obviously, yeah. the, the 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 premise is that Kensuke has taken lots of images and he's flicking through them and selling them uh, pictures of Oscar, and so. Like there is this sort of flicking sound as though he's like going through the images and we're seeing all these stills of her like ingratiating herself in, into school and stuff. So at least there is like an artifice of why. Yeah. But 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 still it's it's cost saving, is undoubtedly yeah. cost saving. Yeah. <laughs> like How much frame. of that there is in that so, yeah. <laughs> Four frames per minute. The clipboard is a classic, isn't it? Oh, oh, oh god, the clipboard. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah. slowly I'm holding this clipboard here so that you can't see what I'm saying. When I talk, I keep my head very still. If it weren't for my mouth moving, you'd think I were just a photo. And also the various uh, nerve employees that just happened to be standing on an elevator and just disappearing down vertically <laughs> yeah. out of shot. Or that it's bit where everyone convenient. was in silhouette. Do you remember them? They were going down... It's what, just... you mean every episode ever? Yeah. <laughs> That's for dramatic purposes. It's to make... It's the, uh, the juxtaposition of light and dark is one of the central themes of Evangelion. Ah, no. It's yeah. not them cheaping out. No, so, not at all. Uh, None of it is, actually. It's good to say. It's and all nobody important. ever says what they really feel. Like, you know, it's almost like there's a mask yeah. over the lower half still, of their mouth. Still yeah. 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 Very yeah. good observation, John. Yeah. But we, uh, you know, so there's a lot going on here already yes. in the opening 30 seconds. And, uh, and if, that weren't, if that weren't enough, you know, Evangelion fans, <laughs> we then have some interaction yes. between the three, yeah. essentially, it's, main characters. It sets up the relationship. The three children, the, three the pilots. Them, and we realise, and we see, of course, that Asuka is almost, still almost pathologically driven to compete yes she's always like i have to prove i'm better than any I'm the everyone best, yeah. so she's like hey shinji i'm already the most popular kid in school what's what that got? about well, hey? also don't forget that she does all of this every time you see her she's standing over someone mm. so she yeah you pointed this above out above people she's always stood on things and she steps up to the, the scene of the escalate the, they have an escalator at their school it's pretty yeah. good, an yeah. outdoor escalator. that's the future yeah how would that even work rain would get into it, it but, um so she comes down there and then Everyone standing around looking at her stood on this sort of flower bed. concrete flower bed, <laughs> talking down to, to Ray. Sh- is that the people of Ray? Yeah, yeah. yeah well, Ray's, she's, yeah, Ray's in her shadow. Like uh, it's, it's so you know. It's there's a lot of there's a lot of comedy 
in this yeah. episode. Yeah. Yes, there is. That's true. Both real and imagined. Mm. Um, <laughs> yeah. But I'm also I'm fascinated why because you mentioned the elevator. It's like while she's trying to become friends, well, aggressively become friends with Ray. Uh, and then there's just like this massive crowd of kids yeah. piling up at the bottom of an escalator, like just kind of raining down. But why? Like, is it... She's new. It's but exciting. is it because she's new? Is well, it because she's German? Is it because she's... I think it's all of the above. The humdrum life of the average Tokyo 3 school student. Yeah, what Nothing happens? really happens. Nothing. Imagine, she's ginger. We've never seen something like that before. Yeah. And, and, and she's German because you can tell because of all that, you know, honky-tonk... Bluegrass American <laughs> music that plays when, when she's walking around. <laughs> the blues that the actually originated in Germany. Mm. In, um, Little known fact. It's called the Blaul. Yeah. <laughs> the Blaul. <laughs> yes. So that's why that's there. And actually, and but then <laughs> Toji. I feel like Toji has has had some kind of like Zen transformation throughout yeah. the series because he he says this line. Where he's just watching this unfold, unfold and he just goes, oh, "Are all the pilots idiots?" Yeah. Just to say, do they only recruit weirdos to be pilots? And we're like, yes, Toji! Yeah. <laughs> Finally, someone's realised. He's saying what I want to hear. You know? Yeah, he's the voice of the people. That's what I like about Toji. <laughs> Toji you know, 2016. Speaks his mind. Yeah, and, and takes photos of, pervy photos of young high school girls. But then, where do we cut from there? Oh, that was Kensuke. Yeah. yeah. So just helping him sell it. Just, Toji yeah, enables him. Isn't it for the money? <laughs> Toji's, like the, Toji's like the acceptable face. Of his empire yeah. of sin. Like, you know? <laughs> he's got a cool tracksuit as well. So that's so like, yeah, she then, wasn't wearing. Was he not? Wow. No. See, now I can't imagine him not wearing it. So no, the fact that I knew there was out, something weird about him. Was I he wearing a uniform? He was wearing a purple shirt under a school uniform. Oh, oh. well observed. Maybe it's too hot. I it just, did look like the summer. I wonder why, why he's allowed to not wear the uniform normally. Because he's on the sports team. Is that but like all the time? That's the thing with jocks, isn't it? Rules don't apply to them. Is he yeah, a jock? No. I think he's meant to be. Maybe he's I guess like a, he's the equivalent, isn't he? Maybe the nerd and the jock. He could have like a personal hygiene problem. Maybe. And like, we oh. don't want you wearing white shirts. It just oh, it's seeps. disgusting. Yeah. So, so then, we don't we cut bangle. to uh, Nerve we headquarters with we Kaji do. and Ritsuko? Oh, yes. yes. Yeah. Yes, and we have a very familiar interaction <laughs> between Kaji Mm-hmm. And uh, Ritsuko. I think, yeah, uh, something that Kaji will end up being very famous for. He just kind of. The leaner. She, she's just tapping away, working, yeah. looking at DNA and science. That's the sort of thing you would do at night. Images yeah, you know, kind of popping time, up, you know. Maybe. Yeah. Get like, uh, you know, tap, 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 walks on the screen. Oh, working so fast. Here's an atom. Is I don't know. Is an apple like full? The, the, the graphic in displays in Eva are very like, nightmarish, aren't they? Yeah, but they they look like they might be a thing. Yeah, unlike Star Trek or something, where you just like, well, where's, that's oh, not, it's just where's the information? But yeah, this looks like real information. Yeah, yeah I give you that. Yeah, definitely. And then blam, then blam, Kaji. he comes from Ka- behind, uninvited, and always uninvited, unusual. and he and he just says like, you've you've lost some weight after yeah. putting his arms around her in a gropey way. And that's she, good because women like being told that they've lost weight. So again, like Kaji's a good. He's a really good. Role a, role. As a, yeah, I think he as can a young man, lot, he's pretty, he's, he's definitely the most um, most normal and respectable character. Yeah, I think in the I think series that so is far. Probably the, yeah, I mean, that might actually be true when you're like it's a sort of depressing thing when I have to stop. <laughs> like, Fortunately, I think like actually maybe like based on the rest of them, but yeah, no. I mean at least he acts like a human being. It's a despicable human he, being. He's honest. But, but yeah, he, I mean he's he's a looming he knows neo racist. But, yeah. but also, there are those in the world. Whereas I'm not sure there's a Shinji in the world. I'm not oh, sure there's a... Oh, be, right? A Mustato in the world. Yeah, I mean, like, there's there's a lot of humans on the planet. I mean, like, statistically... We've got to find one somewhere. But can you imagine if you had to work with any one of these characters? Yeah, they're awful. Like... Yeah. Especially, like, I mean, Ka- Kaji... I mean, a lot of people probably have to work with the Kaji equivalent of, like... Maybe. Sleaze, yeah. Like, probably as, as men, maybe we haven't experienced it in the same way. But I, I imagine there'd be... You know, like a guy like that is like, "Hey, ladies," and yeah. you just go, it's "Just a little hey, bit too touchy feely." Because it's not worth the hassle of no. telling him to, you know. That's actually almost like a really on. interesting thought experiment. It's like imagine that any one of the Evangelion cast is the annoying person in your office. Yeah. And, yeah. Which one is the least annoying? And you're like, "Oh, that's really tough, actually." Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. they'd all be sociopaths. In they would. Well, that's the they all are. Yeah. yeah. Like, look, they're barely functioning people. No. Which is maybe the. I get you know the, when we get into the, like ah it's actually a clever show we're meta gaming well they're it, yeah. all sort of broken people aren't they so yeah aren't they yeah maybe that's yeah. what he was going but still for. I, I am perpetually staggered that nerve has this much responsibility yeah. and this much money and, it, and this it, much it power works and they're somehow. kind of they're just run by maniacs yeah. <laughs> run by arcs and maniacs. But what is the point of that scene other than to show that like they know each other of old? I think that's it. Yeah, I it? think that's it. And it's also to develop stuff. some sort of rivalry between Mitsuko and Masato. Yeah, because basically 
He's doing it to make her jealous. Essentially, yeah. yeah she's like, then, it, it is revealed, she's, she's at the fuming, glass. And she's watching literally. it all going on. Because my reading was that, like, Ritsuko and Kaji maybe aren't actually, don't actually have a history or anything like that. Maybe and they he's were just joking about it. Like, that, like, ha, ha, ha. One of these that days. Wouldn't be funny? Yeah, one and of he's been, he's like, been doing that oh, for years. Piss off. Yeah. yeah and, and so they kind of now have a history based entirely on his pervy attacks on her yeah. that happen with alarming regularity. <laughs> but Masato's like really not happy to see him. It's like, look, okay, we do have a history. You clearly just do this can wind me up. When are you leaving? And he's like, oh no, I'm here to stay. I've got we... new orders. It'll be just like old times, the three of us again. Who does he work for? Does Gendo. Work... But like, yeah, but like, who's... Only. Who just... <laughs> so when he shows up, he's like, oh, I brought the thing. Like, who's he meant to be working for? Do we do we ever establish? Because he's obviously a shady character, but I don't know if there's a but also there's like mills around. You're like, why are you yeah. allowed in here? Because Masato's like, you've yeah. delivered unit two, you've done your job. Go away. You can but leave. that obviously wasn't his job. But also, no. Yeah, because he. But also, all she really knows is that he abandoned them all yeah. in the middle yeah. of the last angel's plane. attack and just flew off. And it doesn't bring it up though. No, why would you? Really? She's just a bit jealous of the whole flight. I mean, she both. She both sort of. Is attracted to him and caught up in the history of their relationship, and yeah. simultaneously really dislikes him. She, she, you know, he's awful, but she just can't help but love him. He's that, he's, yeah. He's a, That's yeah. actually quite an old-fashioned character trope, isn't yeah. it? That idea of like, oh, he's he is despicable, but oh, I just, I just can't get him out of my he's life. He's irresistible. He's just, yeah, it's just like I'm a bit sick of that character yeah. trope, actually. So uh, I was, I was being very rude there because I was getting my research ready ooh. for do, 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 do. Uh, the sudden appearance of an angel. <gasps> Is Raphael? Is Raphael? Is Raphael? Is Raphael? Is he? Yes, he is. He is looked into it. Who is the seventh angel? Little pop quiz. Can you name them all so far? Starting with the third. Yes, that's the big one with the funny bird mask, and the second one. No, I can't. Wait, oh no, what is the fighting This there? is the test you have to pass to be on the podcast. I'm trying uh, to remember. I will leave. <laughs> this is also partially for. This is an open discussion. Yeah, I'm not sure we? I can do it either. Um, Satchiel? Satchiel. Yes, Satchiel. The Sam Shamshell. Shamshell. Um, our big friend, Ramiel. Yeah, Ramiel's easy. That's the watery one. Like Gagiel. Gagiel. So that's three. Four, five, right. six, and now, now Israel. 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 We did it. Nailed it. As a team, we did it. Yeah, I really helped. Yeah, Nailed well them. We're not I think positioned. I said some of the ones you said after you said them. That's in like that's a sort of reinforcing. reaffirming. Yeah. 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 You're, yeah. Like, you're like, when I'm the bully, you're the guy behind you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> you tell him, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your skull to my bulk. Oh, yeah. good reference. Like so, so there is a big thing uh, where the alarm goes. It goes like, there's an angel coming. <laughs> But then Masato's like, what? Well, they weren't What's your job, it, Masato? Yeah, <laughs> this, like... is, this is literally what you get paid for. But how much are, How much do they expect? Hasn't well, every angel, apart from the third, well, taking them by surprise? Well, I guess... I don't think there's a timetable, is there? So... Oh, so how long... Well, maybe... Isn't there? I mean, there's the... I don't Dead think there is. Sea the Dead Sea Scrolls. Oh, I mean, like... No, no, they know what will come next, but they don't know when. Oh, well, I so suppose. So how long is... Because did they spend a long time after Second Impact... Doing nothing but being nerfed, being like setting up. Oh wow! Well, yeah. uh, how are you today, Ritsuko? Oh, not bad. <laughs> oh, what if there's gonna be angels today? Oh, it could be no, today. Still none. Could be the big day. And then I guess testing. <laughs> big Paris is yeah. poised over a ribbon for <laughs> right. like four years. And then blam! There's an angel. <laughs> oh, cut the ribbon. Well, hence our big, all our confusion yeah. earlier in the series, where we're like, have they ever done this before? Yeah, they yeah. do seem very like seat their pants sort of situation, aren't they? Like, oh, we'll probably figure it out. You go out there, right? And sort of poke at it a bit. And we'll see what happens. Yeah. Then we'll figure out how to kill it. Then we'll develop plans. What if it disembowels me? It's probably not going to disembowel you. You'll probably be all right. And if it and if it did, I mean, there's more we've got loads of backups, yeah, haven't we? Have you seen the whole school film? Yeah, we've got a prototype. Yeah. And we've got u- u- unit one. Any minute now. They know unit two's probably on the way. That's I mean, fine. with Kaji. That's fine. Exactly. You can trust him. Yeah, okay. You can yeah. trust anyone. The um, Interestingly, and this would be a group, <laughs> a group discussion as well. They say, like, uh, something has emerged... From the ocean, I swear yeah. it was like a throwaway line. Yeah, because there's a lot of speculation about the origins of the angels, and oh. a lot of people uh, in the fan community over on evageeks.org. Check it out. Proud sponsors. Yeah. Yeah. sponsors. Eat fresh. <laughs> Eat fresh. <laughs> uh, uh, speculating that the angels are all aquatic by nature, or yeah, maybe they do like have that air to them, don't they? They're sort of yeah, water, you mean. fluid. Like, I suppose. Like... like some people reckon that maybe very... an event, <laughs> which of course we shall. We shall probably be exploring later in the series, but an event happened where maybe eggs, if you will, yeah, were kind of blasted scattered. off. Well, this is the there's isn't there a, a 
from I think you've talked about this before. There's loads of information on the internet from some obscure PS2 dating game or something like that. And I remember reading something about, and it says because there were like there were like seeds of life put on planets, and for some reason Earth gets both. Both, yeah, and then they're like they've been laying dormant or something. This is never mentioned mentioned in in the the series. No no idea how. Even though that's sort of vital context would actually be really helpful. But then it's sort of nice. I I don't know. Isn't part of it like you don't? They don't know, and you don't know. Like you know, you're in there with them, not knowing what's going on. I think we have kind of discussed this before, and there is some charm to over everything. And I, I, (laughs) I think that I think there is. And that's maybe what brought us into it is the mm. mystique of the yeah. show is that knowing so little about what's happening. But equally, when you explore it from a genuine storytelling <laughs> perspective, <laughs> it make a lot of sense. <laughs> and it's and it's almost impossible to discern, like or distinguish between what I learnt from a show yeah. and what I think I learnt from the show. Once like you've read about it, and what the me. show? Oh like, yeah, yeah, because they're they're from blah blah blah. Yeah. yeah. And the Dead Sea Scrolls. And you and wait, oh, wait a minute, how do I know that? And the thing in the basement is... And it's also like, how much does the show really intend to reveal? And how much does it successfully reveal? <laughs> well, you how, know? Much, <laughs> how much did they know when they made it? Did yeah. he have it all planned out or did he retroactively go, oh, that'll work? Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, I'll chop that nine. down. I've got to do that script for the PS2 dating game, so I'll, uh, <laughs> there's a I'll certain, put it all in there. I'll just there's, wheel that out. There's a certain element of, like, lost... To it, where yeah, it's like, yeah. was it always intended, or I was it keep heaping so. mysteries on there so they don't ask questions for the first lot of mysteries, yeah, exactly and then occasionally it. mask all the greater mystery by just having robots punch well, great big monsters. That's what we're all really here for, and to be honest, it? it works. And speaking of big well, monsters, well, segue, my friend, he's a natural professional businessman. So yeah, this gra- this brand new angel appears, <laughs> and for, for the first time ever, they deploy. To yeah. unit one, y- unit two. Yeah, I mean from planes. Yeah, and ex- oh yeah, and ask a point. Yeah, planes. big old planes. And for the first time, nerve appears to have exact. Yeah, yeah like, they, like they've maybe got some sort of a plan rather than just a like simultaneous like launch. It like, seems like it. Yeah, yeah, because it always seems like they're normally just flying by the seat of their pants. Completely caught, like, always on the yeah. back foot. But now it's like, no, here's an angel. Let's gonna deploy go two evers. For the first time yeah. ever, they've got two like full production. Avers, basically, yeah. Like, because I mean, yeah, Unit One was never no unit, unit Zero was never meant to see combat. It's just no, a it's prototype. A, it's just a prototype. Yeah, yeah. it's just a, just legs. And, and Unit arms. One is called Test Type, isn't it? Yeah. So even that isn't necessarily meant to be like Unit Two is the first proper fighter, but Unit One's turned out to have a pretty good track record. So we'll send that in as well. <laughs> I was never entirely sure what made Unit Two quite so special. It's red because yeah. I know it. Ha- <laughs> I know because I know it, I know it has like it has a couple of like little spike cannons. In its yeah, in its yeah. kind of shoulder bits, but that's about it's got it cool, really. Like, bo- is that what this? She's got the box cutter knife, hasn't she? Is that yeah, the little Stanley is that in knife. The shoulder? Yeah, is there some bit I swear. Hang on, like... Unit One's got one of those, hasn't it? Doesn't he have a different knife? He has like a. He stabs the big lobster one with it. But he has the... like a proper. Wait, like, does he, does he get... knife? Yeah, he, his is like a Bowie knife. <laughs> yeah, and then I had them on the toys. I remember. Them being... Oh right, <laughs> yeah, this is where all it's my called a progressive knife, isn't it? Is there any reason why having a giant Stanley knife with snap-off blades would be well? When useful? when the end blunts from jabbing into various AT fields, you'd be able to snap take it off. off the end of the the knife and sort of put. You know, when you put it in, you snap it, and then it would be sort of sharp knife. again. Yeah. Unless uh-huh. it's got some massive foam board that needs cutting yeah. for uh, an and art project. AT like, field like foam board. and cut yourself. It's yeah. Health and safety, <laughs> Just standard really, safety, yeah. nerve protocols, basic, really. Basic stuff. But, they, um, but they leap into battle because they, uh, they deploy them from airplanes. And, and then, then they plug them in. Which yeah. makes a lot of sense. They didn't just walk them there. Um, <laughs> time, I guess, they didn't have Isn't a... quicker for an a- I, feel like I, get, I get the feeling that there's multiple umbilical stations. Yeah. What I mean is that I feel like an Ava could probably cross ground Quicker than a plane. Oh, I see. Because well, it's within the, the. But it would have to be powered for that, and it would have yeah, to run across so. a populated city. I imagine that doesn't seem to bother them normally. No, that's a very good point. So, yeah, they... Nerve really cares about collateral damage. They do. <laughs> no that's why they keep everyone employed. No one has ever been injured in a <laughs> in a fight. Not Name one person that's been injured. I mean, Toji Sisko. No, it's oh, no, shut no. up. <laughs> well, have we ever seen her? How do we know exactly? She's no. Conspiracy. Say she is. Illuminati confirmed. I mean, there is. Effectively, one isn't there an Evangelion? No, that's... <laughs> Actually, for real, I said it yeah. very seriously. <laughs> so after they they establish the fact that they're like, oh, these got you know they're ready for this angel, then Shinji and Asuka just kind of have a bit of a an argument and just kind of just go at it, yeah, without any instruction. It's like whoa, 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 wait a second, guys, and then it's already Asuka's like running into the ocean. No, it's Shinji what... starts, doesn't he? He, I think. he, he just fires the gun. Fire. Yeah. They're sort of bickering, and he's like, oh, I'm going to take care of this because <laughs> I've actually killed a few angels now. Yeah, yeah, and he calls her a rookie, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah. she's never uh, actually done anything. Aside yeah. from presumably like training, yeah. like like Ooh. VR machines or something. She did the the the. Oh yes, yeah, sorry, no. I she guess. like funneled. 
but even that was a bit into an angel's mouth. Even that was a bit out of the ordinary as well. That was a bit kind of yeah. like. And Shinji was in the cockpit with her. Yeah. Oh, that's true. Which is also a terrible decision. So, yeah. I mean, but this is why it doesn't make any sense because for the first time ever, the two Eva pilots, aside from a bit of bickering, yeah. actually do like everything that's expected of them. And they just happen to lose. Yeah. Well. And everyone's like, oh, "You reckless maniac." You hear the implications that they lose because they weren't because they weren't coordinated. They both. Yeah. Try I think that's to do true. Their own, the, the story is the story is yeah. conspiring to tell us that yeah. they they bickered and that therefore if they'd worked as a team they would have defeated it. Probably there was some way for them to come closer as a team. And exactly. Work together. I, I feel like we may have buried the lead here because we've got to say that the big gimmick that this angel oh, yeah. has it splits in two. Yeah. So it has a, when it comes out, it's got a mask that looks like Yin and Yang, but red and blue. And you're like, we're a bit like, oh, that's a bit weird. And then Oscar does successfully cut it in half. She does the, she? like, slice, slice. slice that I'm miming. That yeah. You it was quite see. convenient that she did cut it exactly. right along the seam. Like, not like just like the hand. <laughs> yeah. Like one really little one. <laughs> <laughs> but what if she cut it, like, it horizontally, adorable. like, sliced it in half? And it's like, yeah. and it goes, ah, oh, I now like to be my superpower. And this becomes four, like, quivering bits on the floor <laughs> that can't do anything. <laughs> Yeah, so lo and behold, it has the amazing ability to split into two. Exactly two. When yeah. cleft in twain down the middle. And then the scene cuts to yes. them <laughs> now in debrief. A very odd cut, actually. An odd yeah. little transition. They had the weird... The, the, that was Halo. the, lo- the, lo- the Looney Tunes end yeah. credits. That's all, folks. Which Was that meant to be the projector, maybe? Maybe, I think uh, uh, the yeah. Because so we're, we're, we're seeing cutting that, to yeah. them projecting slides yeah. in a debrief room. But then debriefing. And, and yeah, in the debriefing, both pilots are there. Oscar and Shinji. <laughs> And also, uh, Fuyutsuki is at the back. And a couple of other Masato's arbitrary... Masato's there. Masato's there. Kaji's there. there. Yeah. yeah, Kaji's there. And we see a uh, slide <laughs> up on the screen <laughs> of the results of the battle. Alex, tell us the results of the battle. Oh, both, both the Avers, I believe, are sort of legs up. So I think Asuka's in, in the ocean... Yeah, their legs sticking up there, and then Shin- oh, well, vice versa. And Shinji sort of stuck in the ground. Yeah, with again legs up in the which implies they sort of were re- dumped in there by the end. pushed down like Who a bully in high school. Left them alone. Well, this is something like they had to. No, you were in completely. In. Defeated, so they had to cede control to a secondary team from to the, the UN. UN. That's right. Who, who did then? They always do. Did they do that when they were dunked in the ground? Is what I'm wondering. I don't know. Like maybe did they just do that and be like, or maybe it didn't care. Like maybe it (laughs) it thought it beat them and then turned towards Tokyo. Because now they're out of the way, it can go and do whatever it is it wants to do at the Jiro front. Yeah. Yeah. Either way, very comical, very embarrassing. But then they drop a. Apparently, they dropped an N2 mine on it, and someone goes, "Damn it, we're gonna have to redraw the maps again." Mm, Because N2 mines have a tendency to just carve massive chunks out of huge, perfect circles out of. That's what I like about it. It's very like. (laughs) It is like worms. We said said when we were watching it, it's like worms. So nerve is humiliated. Yeah, oh, it was good because you've got. There's also the beautiful framing of them stood in front, sort of silhouetted in front they're, of the their uh, various Avers. The, yeah, the Avers yeah. in the ground, and they're still and they're arguing. Yeah. yeah, if only there was some way that we could work together. But it was quite a funny look. It was, there was actually some, some humour to be found here because uh, in <laughs> the background, because <laughs> Shinji and Asuka are arguing as they often do. There's going to be a lot of that as the series yeah. progresses. Yeah, get ready for that. Theme. And in the background, you can hear the, like, the kind of news report playing, and she's got this footage of the two <laughs> Evas, like buried headfirst in, in the ground and ocean, respectively. And you just go, uh, the mini- um, uh, a representative from the government had this to say. <laughs> this is pathetic. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's the only quote. <laughs> and he's right. <laughs> and Fujitsu's like, you completely humiliated us. Is yeah. that when he then descends into the yeah. ground yeah. by a has, has no legs. <laughs> like, yeah, that's that's what he had to say, and he's gone. Fiyutsuki never walks through doors. He goes through the no, ground. No, he doesn't, does he? Yeah, he always has hangs. his own private little he's system very, of pipes. Um, make sure he's yeah. always stood in the right place. It's like um, Grand Moth Tarkin in Star Wars, Peter Cushing. Yes. Yeah. Where, you've seen the photos where he wears, apparently wore slippers on set. <laughs> you never see him below. <laughs> Maybe Fiyutsuki just, you know, didn't feel comfortable standing yeah. him in slippers. Naked from a waist down. Yeah. yeah. As 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 That's we've discussed good. before, I believe on this podcast. <laughs> That's a bit of a theme. <laughs> um, yeah. So, and again, another maybe problem I have with nerves, organizational structure, <laughs> where procedure. they say, look, the angel's been essentially nuked, but it's regenerating. Yeah, and so it's in a weakened state, it will take like ten days or something to regenerate. Or was it a week? Eleven, or... I think, wasn't it? Was it nuke it again. Nuke it again. <laughs> just just keep nuking it. You yeah. Think. Like, then you have to redraw the map because you've already nuked that bit. Yeah. Right. I'll just get deeper. And I, deeper. Seem to, I don't know if I dreamt this. I can't remember if I read it or it was actually said in the series. But I think there's some fact where 
they only ever were able to manufacture a hundred N two oh, miners. Oh, okay. Oh, like, interesting. So in case of emergency, because it's something like know, they they use you can count the amount they use throughout the series, which is like three or four. And then there's a bit like either in the end of the Evangelion or right near the end where we're like, just use them all. Well, I guess <laughs> just use them. And if you know there's a fixed amount of angels, <laughs> yeah. You, like when you play yeah. Resident Evil and you save all your special ammo, because like, I'm not going to waste that on zombies. Yeah. And you get to the end and you don't use it because you don't need it anymore. But like they've got all their mines after they're like, wow, well, uh, just chuck them in. Now, this is the chuck end of like, Evangelion. That's the so. last angel. You might as well. We've got 97 nukes left. What are we going to do with them after that? <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. Nothing well, worse could well, ever yeah. possibly go wrong. Exactly. I, I think you could have spared like one more. Well, like a yeah. couple. Let's give us an extra ten days. Let's maybe just... they maybe they thought ten days will be plenty. They managed to bungle their way yeah. through the other angels, haven't they? Yeah, <laughs> bungled. Well, that's how they do it. <laughs> Never has a government organization bungled its way through saving the world more often. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like it's just, it's just like a position of like the angel's going to regenerate in uh, eleven days. Nobody sees there's like, no sense of urgency. No, nobody no. seems unduly concerned. No, it's like oh, we got day to day life. Days. Yeah. yeah. Also, well, maybe, that's more that's more time than they've ever had. To deal with an angel, isn't it? That's true. Right. Yeah. So the angel shows up and then starts destroying everything. They have to beat it up. But I think the longest they have was when they're like, we could get a sniper rifle. That yeah. was that one. And yeah, that was like 24 hours, hours wasn't it? Because yeah. it was drilling this through one. the ground. Yeah. You've got a week. It's like when, you know, like it's, it's the school holidays. You've got homework to do. Yeah. Since Ray would have done it at the start of the holidays, got it out of the way. But we're not dealing with Ray. We're not Ray. We're we're the Asikas of the group. We're doing it. We're doing it. Maybe on the Sunday evening. But like, oh no, is there an inset day tomorrow? There's not. <laughs> oh, right. and that's how Nerva acts. And they're like, we've got we've got eleven days. So we can. It's the weekend now. Let's just you know we'll start on Monday and there's dilly dallying. They got yeah. loads of time. Absolutely. But oh no, I've complete you completely killed the point. My I had in my... <laughs> the professional veneer. <laughs> But also, like, um, oh no, that was it. Like, because Fujitsu's like, you've embarrassed us. I can't believe that Nerva's never been defeated before. Yeah. And I found myself thinking of, like, when Ramiel turned up, they deploy Shinji. Literally, <laughs> Shinji pops <laughs> above ground, ground. gets blasted, <laughs> goes into like a coma as his heart stops, and we go, oh, and they like <laughs> withdraw him. Never been embarrassed before. Unless Fujitsu was by his hospital bed while he was in a coma going, you've embarrassed us. Like, yeah. It's <laughs> so embarrassing. Humiliated. <laughs> I can see why your dad doesn't love you. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Easy now. <laughs> That's the theme, isn't it? The theme. theme. Like Risuka's like, oh, it was a bit much. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just beat him. <laughs> just, just be nice. <laughs> Good old-fashioned beating. <laughs> um, but then we get a bit more of a comedy scene, again, with weird music. Yeah. Where Misato's like, oh, look at all this paperwork. The desk piled yeah, high. Yeah, piled comically high yeah. with papers. And the Yuang send him a bill. Yeah, well, that's how it works, isn't it? Because uh, I think it is. Yeah. Have a large sum of money, and ultimately, they... like, it's only out. it's only saving the planet. It's not well, money is very important at this point. Yeah, I mean, like, when you think about it, it's the most important thing as a business owner. Um, <laughs> if someone with a giant robot came around and that like, smashed up my shop a bit, I'd, I'd be like, I'd be sending him a bill, and you know, I don't care what they're doing. Oh, we're saving the world. Big deal. What about me? You know? Yeah, I mean that's true. It is it is predominantly about you. But also it does it is again worrying because I I have no idea what's good or bad behaviour. Like if I work for Nerve, I'd have no idea yeah. about what I'd be rewarded for no. or fired for because Risuko says to Misato, Yay. you're lucky the Gendo was director there. wasn't here. Yeah. He He'd have be... fired you on the spot. But it's like apparently she's a genius strategic mind. Well, because why else is she there? Because Ritsuko is a... You see her doing science-y things. All the, like you said, she's she's typing DNA. Her job's yeah. quite secure. Yeah, like... And she seems to be kind of the top of her field. Masato is just her mate from college. Who, you know... Was but she she's in the also military, operations she's, director. Yeah, like, and she's very... Like, she, they're meant to be sort of young... She's like, like 28 or 29 or something me, like that. Yeah. Know, she's already in charge of the giant robot military program. Doing well for herself. <laughs> yeah, really? exactly. Yeah. And, and I think... She's not a business owner, though. Well, we don't know. Um, <laughs> you know, on the side... But it's it's weird to sort of think like what what so she gets fired who replaces her yeah exactly she's, she lives with Shinji she's got like a sort of almost like yeah. a carer role like they dump all the children on her so maybe like maybe and her real you... job is being like get in with the pilots and keep them happy can you afford to fire her as well yeah. like well, we're talking she... about the end of days here like yeah. you, you don't want to spend nine months training up a well, new they talk about PR as well yeah oh the PR department you know, Nerve has a PR department apparently <laughs> what do people think about our giant monster robots made with dead 
parent souls. <laughs> oh, we don't care. We have giant robots. It does sound like a. It's like this isn't a marketing problem. It's a solution in disguise. Like how do we discuss? There's we, no such thing as bad. Is there a better way of saying dead parent robots? <laughs> like, I just downplay. Instead Absence. of creepy school full of children, let's say Marduk report. Uh, Ooh, yes. oh, like that, that sounds way better. Yeah, it's just make up a word. It's mysterious. <laughs> what is a Marduk? I, it makes me think of a duck. Yeah. Yeah. Somehow. Yeah. yeah. Like a like a mallard. Yes. Yeah. Maybe it's like a pen pen. A, like, like a pen a, pen. A pen pen. Not a penguin. No. no. But a pen pen. Yeah. A pen pen. Okay. There are many of them. There are many pen pens. They die all the time. They're just <laughs> chucking a new one. But but I think as we all agree, the stakes are very high. Yeah. Now they've never been higher. Yeah. Definitely. Uh, so probably something serious. Misato. What, what we need narratively. Because Risuko is like, hey, you know, things are desperate, aren't they? They sure are, buddy. <laughs> I've got a plan. This this will help you. Here's a little floppy yeah, disk. Yeah, like she's she's typed up a plan and yeah. Well, Kaji Kaji provided it. Yeah, I'm not going to I'm not going to tell oh, you what yeah, it yeah. is. Just be just be coy about it. You no, know, you here's, here's a plan. You should. I, uh, I feel like if Kaji gave you, a, you know, something with digital, you know what's going to be media. like. Yeah. Oh, here's the plan, but also here. Oh, what's that JPEG? Uh, oh, for God's sake! Is that you, uh, Kaji? Is yeah. that yours? It's like he sent me. He copied the whole directory across when he just wanted that one folder. It's like, oh, Kaji. He did it quite deliberately, though. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, it'd be him. <laughs> just like just pictures, loads pictures of, of naked him. pictures of Kaji with cowboy hats and things on. Just, just cowboy hats. Different. Yeah. There'd be different hats. Different, different levels folders. of greased up as well. Oh, God. It's just very <laughs> important to it's him. Like a sli- yeah. There's a sliding but, scale. So he can yeah. grease. <laughs> so there's a sliding. <laughs> But sorry, like, I I feel for my own sanity, I'm having to like dig these plot points out because yeah. I feel I'm losing it. Search for them, John. But is it? Do we then cut to the apartment? Yeah, I think yeah. So. And Shinji comes home. Oh, no, because it's it's. Oh no, yeah, because she's no, no, moved in. Didn't. Yeah, I'm pretty yeah, sure yeah, that's yeah. then. Yeah. Yeah, so she's moved in, but they don't know about the plan yet. Oh, because that. Yes. Yes. I'm remembering it now. In break very it down. Break it down. Exciting. Else. So Shinji comes home as per usual, but there's. There's DHL boxes piled high. DHL are an excellent courier. If you are looking for one, I definitely recommend them. Even as... Japan. Well, yeah, they get everywhere. Even Japan. Other courier services are available. Post-apocalyptic mm. Japan. They still delivered all that stuff from Germany. Huge Pretty... quantities of boxes. Lots, right? Yeah, lots of things for a 14-year-old Hallways and rooms are, f- are full. And yeah, Shinji's actually. confusedly walking around, and then lo and behold, who would be there? But Asuka. But she's under the impression that she has superseded Shinji. Yeah. And it's like, ah, I'm living with Masato now, and you're not. Because clearly that's a normal <laughs> human... Reaction. Yeah. Like, you know, when I go to visit someone, yeah. I'm like, oh, so I now, li- I now, I now live here? Instead and I, of you? And you have, to, you have to move out? I think if you're invited to stay... So, like, obviously you've invited me to your house today. Yeah. And I assume that we're getting rid of John, John right? I think and it's I'm... John we're getting rid of. That, yeah, was oh, I, that would be my yeah. choice. That's and my, and my obvious reaction would be like, what? No, you're not getting rid of me. <laughs> yeah. I live here. But <laughs> exactly. And then I would be explaining that you'd be leaving and Nick would come along and I'm the voice of reason. He's Masato. And I'm like, no, you guys have got to work together to yeah, defeat the giant menace. We've got to be in sync together. Yeah, yeah I know. And, uh, Can you see how it's, it's just a seamless metaphor? It's right? just like reality, really. Yeah. Because, like, now, if I... Realistic. <laughs> I, I often wonder, like, if there's another, like, board member or another person in the chain of command who just, we never see, <laughs> who's always just bringing reports to Gendo <laughs> and they're always being rejected. Just going, like, I say we move these two children into a nerve... Secure location. Secure location. We give them round the clock protection. And I reckon this synchronicity plan could work. But let's do it under laboratory conditions. Yeah. Let's yeah. not do not it. in an apartment with the mates round. Yeah. yeah. And then Gendo. And Gendo's like, but what if they want to invite their friends round? No, I Gen- don't I don't think that's a good idea. That's not really, really important going, to saving the world, Gendo. How much is it going to cost? Because, uh, you know... We have, oh, we have tight, four tight. labs. And I don't even mean... Four lab rooms. We literally have four full size buildings. <laughs> Completely, no one in. No, they are like, empty. Fully empty. Gendo. Yeah, but they're already you... at the apartment, so. I could send a. I could send a car. <sighs> yeah, no, and then Gendo's seems... just like, let's go with the cars you plan. <laughs> but, I, but I only have stamps that say not approved. So <laughs> I'm afraid I just can't. That's, 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 that's why he didn't love Shinji. It was just the <laughs> not approved. Not approved, not approved. I'm trying, Shinji. <laughs> <laughs> He's just crying, stamping everything with not approved. You can't spell not approved. Without approve, <laughs> I do approve of you in the context um, of not approving. But somebody approved this wacky yeah. setup. No, oh, yeah. so here's the plan. Clearly, you're going to live together. Yeah. Uh, in close proximity, well, you're going to yeah. do everything together. Yeah. Brush for like eleven days, and you're going to practice dance, dance revolution all day long, every day. 
without looking at the screen. But until, yeah. Oh, until the two of you are super synced. It's more yeah. like Twister. You're right. Actually. It's, it's like it's like a Twister mat, and it lights up. Yeah, and they have to like press the right circle when it lights up. Yeah. But we like... we asked a lot of questions about this equipment. Because yeah, is it, is it, it custom seems, fabricated? It seems bespoke, you know, like specifically to train two pilots to learn to fight in sync with each other? Question mark. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so do, do, again, does Nerve just have this tech lying around, like the balloon uh, division? <laughs> you know. Yeah, and like being That's stalled no a, money. <laughs> being stalled a whole party games division <laughs> who've been doing nothing. Well, and well, then wow. that call that call comes in. Yeah. And they're like, and Roger's like, yes. <laughs> I'll get out of storage immediately. He says, knowing full well it was just out in his office and he was playing with it every day. <laughs> yeah, it could take it could take a day. Yeah, no, it's like, t- two employees in my background. It's like, yeah, um, guys, <laughs> shut it up, shut it off. Shut it off. <laughs> <laughs> boop, boop, boop. <laughs> it. Well, the other thing about Twist this, it, regret it. <laughs> Kaji must have known that such a device existed to have come up with his plan. To... His plan was just a floppy disk with a Word document that just said, beat boop game. <laughs> come up with a plan. <laughs> Is there a plan here? Or like, or like he's just been bumming around Nerve for a few weeks. Oh, oh he's do. the division. He's, like, he's been hanging out with Gary and Reg he's over been in using the gaming it. division. Yeah. 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 It's like, Reg, we could totally use this. Really? Really? <laughs> or what if like there was another plan further down the list which was amazing? It was like Yeah, they stopped at the Kashi plan. <laughs> it wasn't a plan, it was just his itinerary for the day. It was like, oh, you know <laughs> to hang out, play Twister, save the world. Yeah. You know, get dinner, you know, win come, the up, come up with plan right? for Misato. Win, win, win back Misato. <laughs> yeah. oh, Sleep with Ritsuko? <laughs> Question mark. <laughs> Smiley face emoji. <laughs> Tongue out emoji. Um so yeah, and they do, they just do that. They do That's that. That's how they get into because there's the piece of music, isn't there, that we don't. But they don't go to hear. school. They no, don't well, go to school. No, and because so Toji oh, yes. Kensuke yeah. and class rep, yeah. who I don't know whether we ever know her name. Oh yeah, no, she's called Hikari, I think. Oh, good knowledge. I but, think. It, but it's not as if. Um, <laughs> don't quote me on it. You know, it's not as if like somebody from Nerve sent a note to the school well, saying, "By the way, these two students, they're going to yeah. be doing some top secret work." Maybe they did, but they didn't tell the kids. Maybe so. It might just be their inquisitive nature. But the children are like just casually walking along, going, um, "Hey, uh, you know the weirdest thing that's happened in the last like few days? What's that? Haven't seen uh, Shinji or uh, Asuka for a while." You might think they were dead. Yeah. Hey, um, what about that angel? You know, yeah. the, the, the thing that's like regenerating on the hill over there. <laughs> Do you remember we saw two giant robots get upended and buried waist deep it in was the a ground and night, sea? Man. Did that happen? Like, I wonder if maybe Shinji and Asuka are piloting those, and in which case, maybe they are dead. They could be dead. Maybe they're dead. No, no. Are they dead? I think the thing going through your head there, as as Kensuke, would be the value of the photographs has just shot up. Skyrocket. Yeah, Yeah, they've they've gone, they've incorporated. There can't be any more. Yeah. They're limited edition. So... Yeah, but despite all of that, they still go around to yeah, the show up. apartment. Yeah, they show up. It's humorous as well, obviously, because they're <sighs> they're heading seemingly separately to places in a simple like you know. Why are you still following me? Why are you following me? Same door. All what? of them press the doorbell. Yeah, oh, yeah, collectively. Ding dong. And the door opens, and there's Oscar and Shinji in in like gym, 80s dance gym gear, wear? Yeah. Like aerobics gear. Is well, it's it? like leggings like and like t-shirt. a loo- yeah loose yeah. cropped shirt, like uh, any of the mid nineties X Men costumes actually. Yeah. Like, yes, uh, which Oscar looks fine in. Obviously. Yeah, obviously, for some reason Shinji is in. Yeah, like, I think it's to emasculate him, isn't it? The joke is that he sort of that, that is very funny. Yeah. But I feel joke. like this should be embarrassing both of them, not just Shinji, well, all the time. <laughs> she's wearing sort of like a bright pink, which doesn't go very well with her ginger hair. Okay, no. so so the most you're That's... saying she's embarrassed by is a slight clash of colouring. <laughs> well, maybe maybe you know she's the sort of person that if it was made to wear an embarrassing outfit, she would demand. Maybe there was a more she embarrassing be... outfit. She's like, no, no, no. I've got some gym wear in one of my many DHL boxes. You know, they can get anything anywhere in 24 hours. Yeah, Kaji um, probably had an entry on his list that was like really embarrassing clothes. Yeah. Use and the then... code Evangelion at checkout to get 50% <laughs> off your next order. <laughs> <laughs> DHL. And then, yeah, and then so she maybe, you know, she's bossy. She could get away with it. Yeah. yeah. Shinji would be the kind of person that would just go, oh, all right. And sigh. Anything, yeah. Anything for a quiet life. He's, he's you know, the personification of a sigh. But then rather than saying... Person. That's very true. The living sigh. Yeah. <laughs> rather than saying we've got some top secret synchronisation work to be going on with... You can't come in. Let's just... Just come on in. Just have some dinner. But they're also disgusted by it, aren't they? The, yeah. the boys, especially. Are like, it's like, yeah, you've betrayed us, yeah, I think like, they say. I feel Why that's are you with a, her? I feel that's like a 
there's something lost in translation. Yeah. There, I, I didn't. Well, it's because they sort of hate her, don't they? I think the idea is that she's awful. They they all hate her because she's. But they love pictures of her. Yeah, but they like. The... Wow, they say they hate her, don't they? But really, oh, yeah. you're so wise. I'm glad I we know. got you on the show. Well, like, you, know, you know so much yeah. about people. I'm smart. Mate. It's like Papa Alex. <laughs> <laughs> I like the smart. Tell us about adult relationships, Alex. Um, I I'll try and fill you in. When a uh, when a boy when a boy loves a girl very much, he'll take photos of her with a telefocal lens and sell them to his uh, yeah, schoolmates. That's true. Yeah, and that's then he'll use normal. that money. So I don't know what he does with it. Um, don't know if we want to know. Yeah. Invest it. So they're, they're, <laughs> invest it. They're a very sort of, smart kid. Actually. Yeah. <laughs> but well, he, he's, he's, well, he's no, he's a bit of an idiot, isn't he? Really. Ken's I'm trying to think of which of them aren't idiots, and he is because he sort of plays. He plays war a lot, and you feel like maybe Toji is probably maybe the least idiotic. Yeah, yeah. But that, mind you, he did he did expose himself to a girl he'd only just met in the last episode. But, Standard practice. Yeah, but that's sort of <laughs> normal within the realms of teenage boy. It's not in like he's, an, he's a stupid teenage boy. But I suppose it's because he doesn't have any responsibility. The other ones are more outraged by their stupidity because, like Masato, you're, yeah, you're in charge of a thing. You should know better. Somebody should know better. <laughs> You feel like an adult will eventually walk in like, what have you lot been doing? I left for ten minutes. Think about what you've done. Look at that. Look at what was Tokyo. What have you yeah. done? We'll have to redraw the map Tell again. Your friends, what you saw. But uh, thankfully, uh, Misato is a lax and irresponsible guardian, uh, and she's like, "No, come on in. Let's have a pie." Yeah. So they're all yeah. having like dinner while they're Asuka watching, but... and Shinji are dancing they're on the on the, the, the karaoke. DDR machine. But Asuka's like, this guy's useless. Can't yeah. work with him. Look it's at all him. all his fault. Tone death. And no then, rhythm. Because Ray is there. Yeah. Ray, yeah why is Ray there? I don't know. I don't I know. She was just... We're like, oh yeah, there's another character in this show. Like, Ray. <laughs> she's fair. I think the sort of the point of her is that she's fairly forgettable. Yeah. So that's kind oh, of... She's always been there. If we look yeah, back, like, she's in every <laughs> scene. Every shot. Just, you don't, it's from her perspective. <gasps> oh. She's the camera. <laughs> uh, yeah. And uh, so, Misato says something to the effective. Hey, Ray, step up. That's probably the cleverest thing Masato does in the episode, actually. It is, because yeah. it's obviously very deliberate. Yeah. yeah she knows um, what Ray takes Oscar's place, and they synchronise really, really very well. Very coldly, though. She's very sort of mechanical. Yes, she? it's not yeah. Like... There's no passion in it. No. She but wants to do whatever she's told. It gets yeah. Oscar very annoyed, because Oscar's obviously like, oh, it's me. But she will never admit that. She wants to win. But she wants to be the reason they succeed. Yeah. And she is not. She's holding them back, and she has this crisis. And, and then, so she storms out. Yeah, slams yeah. the door behind her. And, and then it. Hikari, because I mean, like, Class rep. immediately like no shouts at Shinji. And this goes, is your fault! Shinji, what have you done? Yeah. It's like, what? It's like, you made her cry. Did I? Yeah, I think Masato sort of, did. Sort of. And maybe also her own insecurities made her cry, but yeah. hey. And then Shinji goes to follow her. He has to, because he, everyone expects Shinji to do everything. Demanded in of him. Well, you know, he's 14 now. He's got to take charge, hasn't he? And. Take the take charge of the horns, yeah. Because no one else is someday his dad's gonna die and he's gonna have to take over the family business. <laughs> <laughs> nerve traumatizing out. young children. Nerve started out as just a little car shop, son. <laughs> just a little van, <laughs> dropping off little robots to corner shops. I'm a Kari and I'm his son. <laughs> and, and, <laughs> and together, together we we're are Kari and son. <laughs> Um, but yeah, then they go to like a supermarket, grab some food, sit on a roof, and just yeah. talk it out, really. Which is a sort of humbling moment, isn't it? It's the first time we see her express vulnerability. She well, does stand on a higher thing again, though. Well, no, she and aggressively. But when sandwich. we see it, when we first see it, when he goes to her, she's in she's in the fridge. She's in the store, sitting on the floor, and he's above her. So, so she's humbled. Oh, she's her weakness. And yeah, I bet that was definitely intended. Some Spielbergian. Yeah, it, might. <laughs> it might be. And yeah, and then we cut to them on a sort of there's like a. The skyline. The skyline, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, yeah. And she stood on a bench. And she's basically like, I'll show Misato. I'll show Ray. I'll, I'll show everyone. Yeah, I'll yeah. double down. And, and Shinji's a bit like, this now. What? It doesn't, you don't have to show everyone you all the time. You don't have to destroy them. Yeah, well, that's what he says. Yeah. Together, yeah, you know? yeah. And she's like, no. And she's like, <laughs> a, like hate-eating sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that's powerful. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm really like chugging beer and not being like soda or something and a sandwich at the same time. Yeah, she really goes for it. <laughs> I really want to hate eat something now. I want to try. We could do, do it at dinner tonight. Yeah, we, yeah. Let's hate eat tonight. Snarl and look. Like, <laughs> might get really into it. It's really it lovely. Might, might be a new hobby. Uh-huh. Um, and then, then I believe we cut to a shot in the elevator at Nerve with yeah. Kaji and Misato. Misato yes, in an embrace a passionate embrace. Embrace would be a stretch, I think. Well, it's a one-sided thing. She's kissing him. Yeah, yeah, her lips kind of... aren't saying no. Yeah, he says. It's... You could argue. Uh, she says no. You, you can argue what no. the point of the scene is. I'm not entirely sure because we already know they have a past relationship. 
It's to establish that Kaji's a cool guy. It's very rapey. Get all the girls. It's very rapey, Alex. Well, no, it's, it's a different culture. Over there. It... No. <laughs> so, I think. Ooh, it's are, a we, good are we show. meant to? Oh, are we the big me- eye cartoons. Are we meant to sort of like? Is that meant to be as a viewer? Like, yeah, he's getting... Like, I think so. Is he meant to be cool to us rather than like, I think oh, he is. this guy's awful. I genuinely think that Kaji is, is trying to be painted in a way to make us... Like, because teenage... It's time you want to be boys. Kaji. Yeah, he gets with Ritsuko. He gets with Misato. Asuka's in Asuka love with him. Yeah. Him. You know, he's he's the guy you want to be. He can grow facial hair. He's got like a pony tail. As you've said, six points. Yeah. He's, he's got, got a got... tiny tail. Po- yeah. Ponytail. A oh. tiny tail. Which would have been cool <laughs> in the 90s, the ponytail. That was the... Yeah. Height of fashion. Open collar, doesn't wear a tie. He's a cool guy. You don't yeah. tell him what to do. And he looms behind women, grabs them from behind and forces himself upon their lips. Like, that is exactly yeah. what everyone aspires to be. That's that's my goal. That's what I'm shooting for. Like and one goal. thing in that scene I was completely obsessed with was watching Masato's papers all over the floor. Yeah. I was very concerned about them being, like, forgotten, left behind, stood on. I, I was worried knows. that someone would slip on them. <laughs> Honestly. Yeah. Cause it I don't think like, nobody, no one else uses that, that elevator. They, they are picked up, though, aren't they? doesn't... No one else yeah, has before or since. But then she throws him again. And yeah, yeah. On the floor. against the. But it was a nightmare for me. Like thinking about the admin involved, and you know, Nerve is very, very good at controlling various aspects of its organizational procedure, mm. and those forms are probably very important for day to day functioning yeah, of the company. Would, and it's like you know, everything company, everything yeah. could start being very embarrassing for Nerve if those papers were lost. You know. And, yeah, no, they are quite important. Yeah, I'm sure well, you would have to assume. But I, I'm, <laughs> of the, I'm, wouldn't have I'm them. of the opinion that like the Nerve. <laughs> facility is so big that they never use a room escalator corridor or elevator twice, twice. twice. <laughs> they just as soon as they're done with it they're like, another team comes in and just fills it with concrete that's, and just kind of... that's where they put the dead children <laughs> gradually the geofront is just becoming a solid mass <laughs> It used to be bigger down here. No, no. definitely didn't. Move no. on. Don't look into it. to unit 5H? <laughs> Shut up, there's only been three units. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I think then we pretty much moved to... Final the finale, yeah, really. The good bit of the episode. The bit. Yeah. Oh no, we've we've skipped the <gasps> no, the most important part of the episode. What have we missed? Bl- the horrible. Oh, the bedtime. Oh, no. which I think is actually next. Actually, yeah. Which After, is the because uh, this is when I when I said I wanted to come on the show and do an episode. I was like, oh, the both of you dance like you want to win. That's great because it's got that cool end sequence bit. And then I looked it up and I was like, oh, oh it's, it's the also creepy. this. We're like Alex vouched for this one. Yeah, <laughs> like you know, he said it was his favorite for some. Alex reason. wouldn't you know steer us wrong or make us. Talk about a weird one. Yeah. yeah. And I've, I've brought it up again. You were ready to gloss over it. No. No. I, warts and all. Subconsciously. Absolutely. No, we've got to go in. We've got to go in uh, so waist deep. One of the things is they've been forced to all kind of like sleep in proximity yeah. to each other. But then Misato is away that evening. So Asuka's sort of, she pulls her bed out of the way into another room. Into another room and yeah. says, this is the wall of Jericho and you're not crossing here. Yeah, the yeah. impenetrable wall of Jericho famed for falling down because of trumpets. As symbolised by a paper door. Well, I mean, I guess that's a fairly good symbol for wall. Yeah, it's a good point, actually. <laughs> so, yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> But then, so they sleep in separate rooms and Shinji doesn't sleep. He just listens to his Walkman. That, that little that. tape on repeat. Are they real? I think like, they is that, like, I feel like that was like a sort of kind newish of technology at the time. And, well, maybe not that, but just that they were like, this will make it look cool and futuristic. Like, they have a yeah. Sega Saturn. Have you ever seen in some of the episodes? Oh, really? There's a Sega Saturn. Yeah. And I think I that's great because it's clearly, like, it's not set it's set in 2015. Like, exactly. Yeah. The, the Saturn reigned supreme. There was and, uh, no more consoles after yeah, the Saturn. Yeah, maybe they maybe, perfected video games like, at that point. All the video game companies got blown up in Second Empire. Ironically, there's a there's an Evangelion game on the Sega Saturn. Maybe that's why they did it. Maybe, maybe. They were, like, it was a tie-in. Yeah, it's very yeah. very slick kind of yeah. cross promotion. Yeah. yeah. Do you think they have... played that game in universe? Probably oh, not. No, not. Too bad. Matter. So anyway, so yeah, so Oscar was sleeping in the room next door. Yeah, and Shinji, of and course, isn't really just sleeping. lying awake, listening just... to the same twenty-four tracks over and over again. And then suddenly the door opens in the middle of the night, and because she needs to go to the toilet. Yeah, she's going to the loo. But it's also inferred. In. It's also inferred that she's <laughs> <laughs> sleepwalking. Well, Sleep but not when she goes to the toilet. She's hate pooing. But her face is all like empty. Yeah, and she's vacant. Well, is she sleepwalking? Is it? Well, I think you know, like you wake up in the night and need the loo, and you're like, "Oh, I don't want to wake up," so you sort of do it. Sort of half, yeah, okay, yeah. yeah, yeah like, you yeah. try and keep yourself in the state of like you can lie back down and fall asleep. And I will still be able to get back to sleep. So, yeah, so maybe she's, yeah, she's, she's doing that, and then she sort of wanders in, to, sort of automatically comes to back room. into his room as it's if. Odd. Oh, that's well, because she's been sleeping. That I think that's the yeah. idea. She's yeah. got used to. She's in habit, so she just falls back where she was. Yeah, like next to Shinji, he's ne- wide awake, like face to face. So he's like pretending to be asleep, inches from his face. And there's a lot. I feel it's the elephant in the room here. There's a lot 
of boobage. B- boobery. Going Quite on. a lot. The more than you'd expect for a 14 year old girl. Yeah. The more yeah. than you've really sort of seen on that particular anatomy girl yeah. previously. She yeah. has. Where did they come from? They have. And you pointed out at this point that she looks really different in this. Yeah. It, she doesn't and look like herself at all. It's really true. Like, there's, a, there's then a bird's eye shot of like them down. Or, like side by side and her limbs are all massively elongated like more like a sort of 80s style of anime yeah um, and it's like she's been drawn by a completely different art team. got the B team it's, well I feel like it's almost like they got the sexy team in question oh, sorry oh, I, I, ahead, I, yes. I don't again I, every time we come up against something really weird one of us finds a theory which maybe <laughs> says is the show cleverer than we think <laughs> it's not just perverse but it's like it's is a it different is it almost like because Shinji because it's almost like Shinji thinks she's really adult and confident. Oh, is she we're seeing hyper- her from Shinji's perspective. That's what I'm, like, I, oh God, I'm not wondering this, this because it's not that. No, this is giving the show a lot of credit, yeah, I think which is something credit, we've often we've, 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 we've hit up against. We haven't been sure whether it's us inferring more clever and intelligent on it. It sort of feels arrogant, had. though, doesn't it, to say that, well, clearly they were stupid, but we've worked out a clever solution. You know, like, yeah, these yeah. guys are idiots making their show. But we've come up with a hidden meaning that they didn't intend. Maybe I think, it is genius. I think it, I think it I isn't for two reasons. One, <laughs> the style change is too is jarring. Yeah, like um, she she looks very different, and also like it's not especially well drawn. Like the way her boobs get yeah. crunched up, it's not particularly realistic or convincing. They don't look good, you know. Um, not even. I mean, I, they probably were titillating to to kids of that age watching it at the time. But I I don't know. I just I feel like it's heavy handed. Yeah, and I, it's, it's an attempt to make her sexy rather than make her grown up. Because I can't tell how much of a show is just flat out titillation, and how much is meant to. Is it like they're pulling the rug out from under you? Because, of course, the point is yeah. she's lying next to Shinji, and she looks kind of like hyper sexy, and Shinji's like, oh, he's aroused. Oh, isn't he, obviously. and, and oh, like oh, his oh. tape player. Yeah, it's is, on fast oh forward. yes, and yeah. we get this really bizarre soundtrack. It's like, his heartbeat, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, so exactly. It's, yeah, yeah, it's, it's like to enhance impulse. the situation. And he leans right in to kiss her, like you know, because kissing a girl when she's asleep, you know. And <laughs> he's been hanging out with Kaji. <laughs> he's oh, learning God. for the best. <laughs> so he's leaning in, and then, like, just when you think this is, this is all sexy, like everything is sexy, like just sexy, sexy, sexy. That's for field notes. <laughs> and then, like, actually, then suddenly, like, there's like this gut punch where she goes like, "Mama." Like, yes, yeah, like really, and, and then his tape goes ka-chunk! and stops dead. Yeah, and it and cuts then to him. It cuts to him now far away. Yeah, away he's like moved room. onto the floor. Well, I mean, sort of off the other side of a room, yeah. not facing her anymore. Yeah, yeah. And he, but yes, yeah, she says, "Mama," and he yeah. says, "You're just a child." Like, yeah, he says something he says like it angrily. Yeah, yeah, it's like although he's annoyed, I can't decide if he's talking you to ruined himself. My fantasy. I feel oh. like he's almost talking to himself. Like you're just a child. Like, does it say like me? I don't think he does, does he? I thought it was something like... I, I always took it as he's talking about Asuka because it's like yeah. she's so confident and then he finds out she's, through she's just as messed up Interesting. as... Interesting. vulnerable state. I wonder whether both maybe kind of work, but I think you're probably right. It's more sort of Asuka. But it's weird, you know, like he's like... He's, he's acting like a... You know, he's he's acting like a fourteen year old boy, which is yeah, you know, yeah, compared is... to like Shinji normally is quite... But it's, it's odd to see him be kind of angry or disappointed in, in someone else in a weird way. Yes, that's yeah, very yeah, true. He puts the yeah. failure onto himself. It's always he? his fault. Yeah. 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 That is true. That's that's Which is why maybe you, you interpreted it as him talking about himself rather than Because that. I'm so used to him being Well Shinji hates himself. So. <laughs> it's probably true. But either way yeah. you don't really come out of it feeling good about anyone no. in this situation. No. It's a bit of a grimy really. scene. Well, well, gr- yeah, yeah, everything just feels a bit grimy there. Yeah, you're right. Grimy's a good word. Yeah. Anyway, anyway, ha- then. And next then, morning, yeah. <laughs> we cut to the good bit. Oh, it's a great episode. Oh, <laughs> oh this bit. Ah, this, oh, the last this thirty two minute sequence. <laughs> like, oh no, because yeah, it's timed, isn't it? It's less than two minutes. Yeah, it's like it's six, sixty. Yeah. yeah. So, so the angel has pulled itself back together. Apparently, recovered from the. We don't see it do that, but we, the next shot of it is it approaching inland uh, as one again, um, and it's all battle stations now. Like, yes. boo, boo. That's, um, the noise. that's that's the noise of battle oh. stations, and the two avers are prepped for launch. Pilots inside them, Oscar and, Sh- and Shinji ready to go. And uh, it's time to put the test, everything they've been training for in action. They're, they're, they're kind of putting all their eggs in one basket because they only give the... So that the Evas have full manoeuvrability, 
and don't have cables. Yes. Yeah, they only give them the a battery. minute, a minute juice. They don't even give and them the, the dan- full. And the, and the tune is a minute long. They could. This is the thing though. They could have given them the five minutes. Yeah. Juice. Because we no, know that they, they do. Can... They do backflips. So they get tangled up in the cords. <laughs> no, so... no, no. no five, they have five minutes battery time. Oh. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> because they have to do backflips. Those batteries have been too heavy. They do backflips. They the... do do backflips. It's not like I so love. I love your. I love your like idea that backflips use more energy. No, 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 no. They would. Because the, the battery, the, the longer life battery would be heavier, and thusly the backflips would throw them off yeah. balance. It's probably it. That's probably yeah, it. it's probably they it. it. Yeah. They probably thought energy this. by itself is pretty heavy. It is actually, actually. You know, backflip yeah. energy. That's a whole. Yeah. That's way more because yeah. you've got to like go right the way round. Yeah, like e that's why I can't. MC squared. MC backflip. Where M is miserable <laughs> and <laughs> C is cruelty <laughs> and. <laughs> Barry, you're gonna start rapping now. But they launch I can, I can the part. they launch yeah, the Evers. Up the shoots. Yes. And yeah. normally they just go chunk and we're up at street uh, level. ground level. This time it propels them into the, the air. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. part of the, the routine, isn't it? And they do this mega wicked cool slash and cut it into two again. Because and, and the whole time the there, plan, is a, like. there is a timer in the bottom right yeah. corner of the screen counting yeah. down That's from a sense of And this classical situation. music is playing, which yeah. they are in sync with. Music we've not heard yet. No, no, I, I see. I when I was remembering the episode, I thought we heard it previously. So did I. So and then I. it, you know, came back. But it's just there. It is here. It is. So for we the don't first actually time. know there's going to be music. No. So I guess the first time you watch, you're like, oh, cool, there's music. And so this whole there. plan has been choreographed to the music. Yeah. And you know, they are they are reliant on the fact that everything will go the way they expect it to go, which luckily it does. Yeah, it's, it's quite like the, the sort of simulation of that. You have to go. Okay, how will the angel react to them dancing? <laughs> Hopefully it will stay where it is. Yeah, it will do Confused everything. Confused while they do backflips. Then it will run at them. They'll do the backflips. That's when that will happen. Yeah. Maybe when they were in the apartment, like the bit we didn't see is that Pen Pen. He's the angel. Was yes. the angel. And so they he... cut loads of Pen Pens in half. <laughs> Just had to do it for science. Pen. You know when Pen Pen comes out of the little freezer? The fridge flap. That's not... That's a new one every that's a new... time. Oh, it's, it's a Pen Pen maker. It's a whole factory behind that. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. I, you, like a, see, this is another reason we're glad we had you on the show. It's like a Pez Gespenser. This like. sort of trivia is <laughs> integral to our, our enjoyment. Well, I of the definitely show. read it on the internet and it's certainly true. Cool. Yeah. But we well, also see the Evas doing stuff we've never yeah, like ever seen before. And Back, uh, and both super agile. Yeah. Uh, yeah. They also leap 4,000 feet into the air. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And the rest. That's because of the lightness of the batteries. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and all culminates in this beautifully choreographed Possibly, I reckon this is where they got the idea for the opening credits. Like, because I reckon it they must sort of, yeah, they must have had some episodes jump, yeah. under, the under their belt. It? Yeah, it's like face, yes. face, face, face. Oh, like, yeah. reactions as they're watching with like awe on their faces. Mm. And then the two Evas, it's are a great scene, spinning through the air, yeah. and then doing the, the gu- Gynax kick. Would you like to explain the Gynax kick? It's um, it it's deliver. I think it's referencing a show that Gynax made a long, long time ago, and I can't remember what the name of the show is, but it features a girl in a bunny outfit. It's the classic sort of Playboy girl outfit. And she does this kick in that anime wow. in like way back in the 80s. And I can't remember what it's called. And since then, every usually female uh, led, female heroine led Gainax show has featured that kick as an homage to that anime. Okay. So in Fooly Cooly, um, Haruko does it. In um, Die Buster and uh, Gun Buster, both of the um, mechas do it in that as well. Um, and obviously it happens in this and it even happens in Gurren Lagan, which isn't really Gynax but like a split off team uh-huh. of Gynax who went on to make Gurren Lagan. they all do this sort of flying kick where they come like diagonally out of the sky towards their the target and they're, it's super like elongated so the foot is really big in the foreground and then the body is like elongated back this impossible foreshortening and in this instance it's they both are two of them side, side by side with their feet yeah and it's, it's kind of awesome they're like mirror reflections of each other but side by side doing this kick and uh, you get this awesome moment in this fight, in, in, in this episode, where they push the two halves of the angel <laughs> back together again. Yeah. yeah. And you, for a split second, you see don't the they... two cores inside, but they don't yeah. join. There are still two separate cores, which yeah. I think is very important. Do they, they sort of, don't they spin kick? Yes. Back together, and then they yes. round off for the game. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. So it goes... Yeah. yeah. Pops back into one. And then one. for a second, we see the two cores are still separately, too, even though there's one angel now. And then this awesome kick finishes it off. And their feet collide with the core. But we do this heel, mad kind of kick they? where yeah. they, the, two, the two heels both kick the angel in the core. And then for a brief minute, it skids back up a mountain. Up a mountain, yeah! Because that's how physics works. <laughs> and, sure and then you get a close-up of the feet kind of cracking, pushing the down <laughs> yeah. into the core. Still and then, adding more um, force somehow. It explodes, doesn't it? Yeah, win, 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 win. Blows up the, the hill. The first time it's established that a heel 
of an Ava can break an AT field and yeah, just force her, as we commented at the time, it's yeah. normally only bladed weapons and uh, projectiles. Energy. I think it's energy very easy beams. to explain this one that they have just extended their AT field around the feet of the Ava, but still that, we've that never seen true. it before. Yeah, yeah and next yeah. right there. That's how it works. Yeah, Get and uh, there, I think we're in a <laughs> comical oh, rundown. Yeah, because it's all successful. Everyone perfect, goes way perfect synchronicity. Really good job, guys. And then it cuts to the the Ava's lying in a crater. Sort of tangled on top of one each on other. top of one, yeah, yeah. very, very inelegant yeah. landing. Which just features another best bit that we learn in, in universe is that there are phones built into the Avers, <laughs> not, 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 not in the cockpit, no, but like a random the leg the outside. Outside. So we see Shinji sat outside Unit One, having just got out the entry plug on an arbitrary <laughs> limb of the Ava, and there's this little hatch with a little phone a logo, little pops up. <laughs> and it pops and it ring, 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 ring. I was like, oh, a phone. He answers that. It's Oscar ringing in from her, Ava, who's also got a phone <laughs> randomly on the outside. Well, she, no, isn't, I think she's still in the cop. Because you see, no, no, her, I think it, you she, see her in the background yeah. as well, like looking out. I'm thinking was... about that now, and I'm trying to understand how how was that possible? There are no windows on a on also. An Ava. There's no she, power thought... to the Avas anymore. They only had a minute of power. Yeah, because of the smaller battery. Yeah, um, <laughs> and also there's a holograph of her coming out of the phone. Yeah, yeah. So That's like, how the... phones work. <laughs> well. In the distant year of 2015, yeah. where we still have, you know, so they still have landlines of like a, a little curly a cable, cable and a ringer. <laughs> because of all the N2 mines, there's a lot of background radiation. That's maybe point. interference signal. You are so knowledgeable. That is a very good point. Good actually. Actually. <laughs> you got and also, you know, she punches him through the through phone. Through the phone. Through the phone. Gosh, yeah. She does, doesn't she? Yeah. Yeah, they could use that on the angels. Like, just drop really... a phone in. They yeah. Pick it up. Don't bother with the angels. Frog knife. <laughs> Blam. <laughs> the end. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Is that Sam Shell? Sam Sam Shell. Sam Shell. <laughs> no. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Who sells seashells by the Sam Shaw? That didn't go anywhere. Uh, <laughs> you tried. <laughs> Concept. <laughs> Thank it didn't you. come to fruition. I pr- appreciate the effort, though. Yeah. Yeah. yeah ten. ten uh, and and then just basically shenanigans. Oh, there's the the discussion, isn't there? Because they're they're sort of chatting away. And she mentions that you tried to kiss me last night. Yes, and then that's and, all revealed that she was says, aware of it. What? No, no, because he says, what? I thought you were asleep. And she goes, what? I was just joking. You really tried to kiss me? <gasps> Outraged. So we don't know then. Then it's maybe established. Is she aware? Was she, yeah, like, but she was aware she that he tried to kiss her. Well, doesn't, he, no, th- doesn't hmm. she also say something like, why is your Eva touching my Eva? Something yeah, like, yeah. as if like, oh. yeah. I think she calls him a pervert at that point. Yeah, but was it? But then he mentions that he heard her say "mama" as well. He says that in that yeah, conversation. Yeah, and everyone's well. embarrassed again. And Fuyutsuki oh. is there, and he's like, "Oh, they're embarrassing us. These crazy kids." And you their hear, psychological damage. you hear like laughter in the background, like like nerve employees are laughing. Like the, the technicians, the the um, yeah. Yeah, what the beep called? boop people. There's the three. The I the know. Magi. He, yeah, the, I, I know you. There's a term. No, 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 not the the computers. The computers. <laughs> They're laughing. The three kind of <laughs> ha, ha, support ha, ha. star. <laughs> One zero. There's a there's a collective name. Binary for laugh. That I've forgotten. I don't know. Technicians. Oh, this is yeah, something we don't no, know. Well, we should look that up and add it in post. Um, <laughs> but yeah, those got maybe it's them because you know they having daily interactions like this is hilarious. <laughs> we might get promoted. But this is the point that we mentioned. Like Fuitsky says. Um, Oh, they're, they're, they're embarrassing nerve again. And we're like, to who? Yeah. Who's watching? Who's wa- who was allowed to see that? Because the, the phone call that they're having, where they're yelling at each other from their ravers, like that seems to be broadcast into the nerve headquarters. <laughs> you can, yeah. Like, and across, as you said, across Tokyo 3. <laughs> but yeah, it's yeah. like, how far is it broadcast? <laughs> Through the world PA system. That they developed. Yeah, that's another like offshoot of nerves. <laughs> why do, no, why no, do, we might need it. Why do we have an open line? <laughs> Just like, you know, surely your default reaction would be... Encrypt, yeah. encrypt, yeah. encrypt. But then, oh, could you, yeah, who's 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 listening? And at that point, it's the angels at the enemy. Don't they can't hear? You. Can they even talk? The Who angels knows? are laughing. Yeah, good laugh. The remaining angels are laughing. That laughter is, but it's actually just the sound of Tokyo laughing. It's just kind of echoing. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. That's yeah. it. To be continued. End of episode. And what it, an it's episode. pretty much like a dun 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 ending. ending. Like, well, oh, I'm missing them. Yeah, yeah, and then and then like a kind of like a bongo. Yeah, it was different again, wasn't it? Was the theory. Or was it the same as last time? You were saying? No, last. No, definitely last, not the same as last one. But that was could techno. have been an earlier one. And you, you put forward the idea that actually it's different in every episode. Not, uh, not every, but I think there are multiple. And maybe we different just, fly me to the moons used. We, we just weren't paying attention. Well, maybe why were. would we? Maybe I wasn't, and I imagined them. A fevered dreams of a madman. <sighs> so well, overall, for thoughts. Yeah, I mean, sort of. Yeah. I um. <laughs> it's not a lot that happens really <laughs> until the end. It's an odd one. It's. I I wonder 
I'm quite I'm curious to see what the next episode is like because yeah. we've almost got I suspect we may have like an unofficial trilogy here of oh, wacky the Asuka epi- introduction yeah, and yeah. wacky, wacky episodes hijinks. yeah I think you're right but it's um, a tonal we've shift from... how we're sort of we're on a high at the moment like it was very low at the beginning and then yeah. it sort of ramped up and now we're at a pl- point where the fights are cooler and the characters seem to be more happy and more confident generally which was generally the case for this one but, um, it, but again it feels like a, maybe not quite a Gary episode but feels like a kind of <laughs> this is by a, a different thing. development team yeah to some extent it's, it's, it's like there might be two there might legitimately have been like you know sort of two Writing streams things. of thing going on, you know, like yeah, you're working on that episode, so you got to be working on the next episode. simultaneously. Yeah, yeah like that's true. That with o- be... overarching control, because because Addict's like. absolute because it starts the series starts with a certain tone, like it's pretty like yeah. it's dark bleak. and bleak. Pre- it's bleak. Yeah, yeah it's perfect word. And then Addict's like worst point is just wallowing in misery. And there's like episode <laughs> yeah. four or five where you're like, God, this is bad. This is so bad. <laughs> and, and and now like. It, you, it starts like swinging upwards, and yeah. we get like Jet Alone, and we're like, "This yeah. is amazing! Yeah. This is great! Perfect balance!" And now it is like a completely different show. It yeah. is now like Monster of the Week, wacky, 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 just high jinks, kids, high school fun, yeah. high school fun. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And it's like it's almost like it wanted to start to make this the formula. Like, yeah. it's like this is yeah, this is what we want. This is what we're going to do. And I know for a fact that it's going to fall apart in an episode's time or another. And it already yeah, changes its identity what, what again. Comes up. Ne- like when it all goes horribly wrong, because there's, yeah, I there's bad stuff coming. Uh, I, remember, but I, I don't think remember there's the one. Specifics. I think there's one more semi-happy episode without ruining. The next yeah, oh episode. yeah, sorry. It's no, no, it's fine. It's the magma diver. Yeah. Next episode. Uh, oh, yeah, I remember something from that episode. So do I. So does it yeah. like? And again, I am I <laughs> thermal expansion. That's the thing I'm remembering. I'm just. Oh, that's not what I, I'm. Oh, having, I'm the, in the changing room. Oh, yeah, similar moment. I think. I'm just <laughs> thinking, like, like, is this? Are they being? super clever are they being so clever that we can't understand no, it not. where it's like we'll make them comfortable we'll make them think it's going to be a oh, just it's, a happy go lucky it's lined up now I'm enjoying it oh I get this show maybe Blam. I mean that's that's storytelling that's storytelling convention isn't it like you 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 create a happy time and then you smash it in order to create stakes I guess but I don't know I think again we're giving it too much credit <laughs> <laughs> well I mean I guess the acid test is did, did we enjoy this episode, yeah, I mean, I'd say I'd, I'd say I did, despite everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In a, in a I, it's hard to stuff. I enjoyed it in, in the way it was intended. If I enjoyed sitting down with you guys and sort of, <laughs> yeah, of mostly poking fun at it until the end and going, this bit's cool. But yeah, it's it's not. This is another one of the episodes. Like that, and obviously, this is why you're on this episode. Yes. Is because it's one of the episodes that people talk about about the Memorable. show. Memorable, yeah. And we really only remember that final fight. Yeah. And a little bit of the Dance Dance Revolution Yeah, that's stuff. that's the bit that was... And we think yeah. that that's everything. And then we come to the episode, we're like, oh, oh, no. oh yeah, <laughs> the photographs. <laughs> that bit's great. And the Kaji bits. But in all honesty, those are tiny bits. And although mm. that doesn't excuse it, yeah. the, the, the story is still told fairly effectively. But yeah. is, it all, is it all saved by... Big fight at the like end. Dance routine. Almost definitely, yeah. yeah definitely, one hundred percent. Because I, 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 cause I, I know, like on my last episode, like I, th- I think you liked it a little bit more than I did the last episode. That is, that is uh, the Asuka introduction. Yeah, yeah. Yes, With, uh, I think I'm in. Yeah, yeah. I, I remember loving that. What, like, because it's very. That was always my favorite. The cape. Yes. Yeah, sort of like that. Yeah, the know, jumping the from boat, which yeah, was undeniably like a really cool moment. But then I can't remember the rest of that episode very well. I, I so yeah, I just found like all this kind of like. I can, I'm saying wacky a lot, but I can't think of a better word for Kooky. it. Kooky, yeah. It was just like, oh, things are Hi, weird. Jinx. And I think I found this one, despite there being a lot of that, I think it was slightly less annoying for me. Like, it was all still yeah. weird, but... Yeah, I think overall there was maybe less hijinks. Yeah. yeah. There's a lot of character stuff. I'm not sure how I effective it yeah. is, but... It's yeah, like setting up Kaji's relationships, case. isn't it? Yeah. Because there's the Asuka and Shinji relationship where it's, it's set up and sort of you're shown the power dynamic between them and then her And I do like her that. weakness. I like Oscar's uh character like the her ideology, which is that competitive, mm. that fiery but, but it's out of fear, isn't it? Yeah. But she I like I yeah, think that's, that's a well designed yeah, so character. Good... Like it's a believable character. I could believe that Oscar exists. Yeah. Yeah. It's maybe a saving grace that she has deep psychological flaws because if she didn't have that and was just her personality 
be awful. Well, she is infuriating anyway. Like, I don't like yeah. her as a... I wouldn't like her as a person. Which is interesting to... But yeah, she, yeah to she's an interesting show, story yeah. character, definitely. Yeah, um... Yeah, no, and... Yeah, I know, it's weird. I'm, I'm conflicted. I'm I conflicted. am too. I mean, I think um, one of the ways we rate, obviously, yes. is with oh, impact. Yeah, no, We're not necessarily ready for that just yet, but I think a point I want to make is that how impactful is this episode? Because as we've mentioned earlier in mm. our discussion, like, they treat this angel as though it isn't really a threat, and there never really is any feeling of high stakes. Because they've got ten whole days. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's and, and in those ten days, they just mess around, eat ramen, and play Dance Dance Revolution. Like, yeah. there's no sense of threat or fear at all. And then, when at the very end they're ready to fight, it, rather than it being, oh god, it's way stronger than we thought, or it's already got to Tokyo 3, or, you know, it's got a new power that we didn't know, or anything like that. Instead, it's just, let's do the thing we practiced, and it works. That's, Perfectly. that's the end. First that's, time. That's a very good point, because often defeating an angel is about coming up with a really On clever fly battle solution. plan. Yeah. yeah, and it's desperate and edgy. And this one this is like, desperate there's all. never any doubt that they're going to do it. No. So it's more about Even as a Shinji and Asuka's... Because you know it's at the end of the episode, like, you're, you're there's no time. There's there. no time yeah. for them to fail. Yeah, yeah. So and I think I think it's good that it's about Shinji and Asuka. I think that's a, a strong like core for this episode to be about. Mm. But in terms of impact, yeah, the not... a- the angel is pushed fully to the background. Really, it's, it's not it impact. It... Is that it's so? Just yeah. to try and clarify. Well, is it impact <laughs> impactfulness on the series, or is it like kind of Im- impact? Dramatic. Is, is our word yeah, for I'm... how. Impact How... is mysterious and hard to define. It right? is, yeah. <laughs> An elusive word, slippery like a fish. <laughs> <laughs> like, a, like a last glimmer of memory. Ooh. It's uh, it's tough. Because it's like, it's how much did it impact on you, the viewer? How much okay. did it hark to Evangelion being a greater yeah. work of yeah. okay. art? Yeah. Just be, interpret it as you see yeah. fit, basically. But uh, it's kind of like a general quality that the episode yeah. has, okay. whether that be you know storytelling, whether that be like uh, drama, you know whatever yeah. it is, the the quality of it, the core quality, I guess. Okay. Quick question before we get to the voting: Why didn't they field Ray? Um, yeah, it's weird, isn't it? She's not got any flair, has she? Maybe they did. We oh, just, no. didn't, just didn't she show back, it. She was a backup <laughs> dancer. You didn't see it. It was important. <laughs> She's just clapping. Yeah, someone's got to do it. Because my my well, she had the pom poms. E- even if you had that amazing plan. Oh, yeah. she just picked up two trees and using them as pom-poms. Yeah. No, they had a whole pom-pom saw... development. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Of course they did. Yeah. Oversized. Yeah. <laughs> Even if you had that amazing plan, I'm like, okay, let's run with the plan. But just leave I, her over there. I would also like Unit Zero with a gun. Yeah, it's just on the hilltop. Just, just shooting constantly the angel firing. constantly. Yeah. yeah. So it's having to defend and react. Yeah. To... With three against one, I mean, you're going to win, aren't you? Yeah. But they've only got so many batteries, though. Yeah, they no. They, they only have two. You know so much about the battery situation. It's all about the batteries, actually... Very thematic. <laughs> just, I find that if you're talking about Evangelion, you just say it's very thematic. It makes you sound sort of wise, like, oh yeah, yeah, it's mm. up on a... empty yeah. wise. Mm. Whoa, okay. yeah, empty. That's, that's how it is. Yeah. Like, I, I think that speaks to a greater mystery. Ah, <laughs> that's, yeah, that's, that's, that's your one. one yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a John Locke classic. You can have that one. What do you think of the weird kiss scene? Well, mm, you know, it speaks, I, it speaks well. to a greater <laughs> mystery. I think, yeah. <laughs> Very thematic. <laughs> yes, Nick. Do you want to? Do you want to add one? Uh, she had a tiny mouth lost in a giant. No, queen no, of you're skin. doing it wrong. Oh, no, doing I'm it wrong. <laughs> say, say, it's a different culture over there. Oh yeah, that's what yours. Did you think, what did well, you think? Okay, okay, what did it. you think of the the uh, kissing? It seemed kind of pervy to me. Her mouth was really tiny. It's like, doing it. It's yeah. just oh, really little. And weird. Swinging a miss. <laughs> I, we should rename a podcast. <laughs> Evangelion apologists. That'd be amazing. <laughs> Evangelion. What, why? No, 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 no. Actually, though. <laughs> Actually, Evangelion. <laughs> well, look, guys, should we do the vote thing? Let's do Let's it. Let's do it. Because I'm. Is it a still... vote? Well, not no, we've Oh, no, I'm going to need my calculator. Oh, no, it's not a democracy. <laughs> oh, so, is it, you actually work out an average rather than just kind of. Yeah, no, 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 no. We'll this, do it. This time we'll have to do an average. We're going to. Hey. Ca- we'll break it down and Change round it up or down. Because we need. We'll round it. To the nearest oh, half because we're oh. apologists. <laughs> okay, yeah, <laughs> it's a good show. Um, because I'm so I, I'm gonna I'm just gonna wade in impact, and I'm gonna make Go it on. easier for you guys. I am really really conflicted on impact, and I'm struggling. So I'm gonna play it very safe and just say five. This is exactly what I was gonna say. I'm just gonna sit right in the middle, and it's it's out of ten, isn't it? Because I was thinking yeah. a minute that it was out of five. I was like, whoa. Ah, oh, see. It doesn't. Yeah, there's not much impact to it, but but in terms of what I remember of Evangelion, that that end sequence is so sort of it's one of the bits that sticks out of my head. So it's that 
important to the show. It is, I think. Yeah, and I feel yeah. I feel that five is is not doing that justice. But and also the creepy pervy kiss scene is another thing we like. Oh, remember that? So the impact of the show. It's better uh, to be memorable than. Yeah. Good. Yeah. 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 Good question yeah. mark. <laughs> Because that's yeah, I don't know. I I, I feel five is too low. Okay, okay. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna bump it up. I'm gonna go for seven. Brilliant. Ooh, okay. I do like the episode. I remember liking the episode. Plus, I'm on the show, so I want the number to be higher. Fair enough. Well, no, we we we've got you on the show because your opinion is important I'm to how expert. we're grading these episodes. Yes. Okay? okay. So so it's it's not so much that you have disagreed with us. It's that what you have added to the pot has made it more accurate, um. right? So that comes out when you divide those three scores by three to 5.6, which if you round up is therefore a six, which I think actually is pretty good. That's why I said seven to, to bump it up. To push it yeah, up. I was you, were, you were gerrymandering. You were kind of... <laughs> you, yeah. You were, yeah. You said nine, didn't you? Okay, well, let's... Yeah, I'll tell <laughs> you what. I'll just say the highest one. <laughs> you know what? You guys are weird. <laughs> you know what? Six, six is fine. I'm happy I, with six. Yeah, I, 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 can, I can live with six. Uh, yeah, I should really have looked at the, the other It wasn't a so bad episode. It. Fundamentally, no, it I wasn't think, bad. No. No, no, it just it didn't make my heart sore. No, really. maybe not. Maybe no. not. That, I really enjoyed that final fight. Yes, no, that was. But maybe on its own, that wasn't enough. And again, I'm I'm watching it in a different because con- you've been rewatching it, whereas I haven't watched it for like any Evangelion for, yeah, for I guess at you least. Were... I think maybe it was two years ago. I rewatched it, and so maybe I'm doing the fond remembrance thing. Or, you know, like... <laughs> it was a bit of a cold viewing for you, kind yeah, of like, rose tinted. Yeah, yeah. But what about okay? Well, what about Shinji ness? It's not very shitty. Cause no, it's not. Shinginess is is the sort of whiny, pathetic, the the wet cabbage. Yeah, because when you think of shit, like yeah, when you think of Shinji, the, the generic you think of... ideal sort of Shinji is the yeah, as viewed by and he was history. like yeah. he calls out Oscar being a rookie. Yeah, know? he's quite he he's argues confident. as strongly as she does about stuff. Because we often say that like zero is a is a normal fourteen year old boy. Yeah, ten is. Max full on Shinji. I mustn't run away I mustn't run away screaming apocalypse yeah. Shinji yeah um, the only maybe maybe Shinji moment is the kiss yeah but is that but even then like would sh- would a kid is... act the yeah. same way in that situation it's a tough one isn't it because he oddly undoubtedly there are weird things in yeah. this episode and certainly like everybody acts a bit odd but He's you know whiny. Shinji if you class a 14 year old boy as being irresponsible not Prepubescent. Not prepubescent, not Toji understanding. Is the default boy. Yeah, yeah. How far does he deviate from him would be the question. Not would especially. Toji have done that there? Probably. Probably, Probably yeah. 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 So that's, that would be my. And we're not, we're not like condoning or agreeing or anything. It's just. I'm, I'm just going to say boys will be boys. That's going to be my cop out for uh, his bad behaviour. It's a different culture over it's there. A, it's yeah. a different culture. <laughs> yeah, no, he's got a tiny mouth. In a giant just switch, no switch. No. field of skin. That's how it works, I see. It's like punching a hole in a hot air balloon. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, that was good. Um, should we? So, how are we gonna do this thing? Because like, I think I, I was. I've got a number. Do we do it on account and then we all say it at once? So that we should oh, do that because no. I feel like when you said five, I started being like, "Well, I'm working Stop. within a range now." I think we should say it all. The that same was time. me passing the buck. I didn't want to commit. I, d- but I agree oh. with you. Uh, I think we should say it once. Are you ready? Okay. Well, so we say it like. One, I'll go two, three, two, three. one, and then we'll say, say it. it. Okay. 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 Three, two, one, two. Zero. Oh, oh I went the highest. <laughs> it's got a zero. Like just without two, going over, two, Nick. Works. It's like golf. It works. And again, I I know. This, t- yeah, maybe you're right. Two episodes in a row now. I've gone zero. And I know that that's not a decision I make lightly, and I'm glad we have a it's pool serious. here to balance it out. <laughs> really see more and more people crammed into the. Yeah. Uh, well, it comes out at one. Yeah, that's comes good. Out at one, which yeah, I think is sound. That's fine. Yeah, yeah. there you go. That's, that's the number. It's fine. I'm not, so I'm not going to. Well, otherwise, if you're rounding up, you still would have got your number. <laughs> zero and four. Okay, that's point five. Round up to one. Nick wins again. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, all a like, it's all about me. I'm the Oscar. But group. let's go yeah. for proportional representation. So we have to choose our second number now. <laughs> <laughs> Ten. <laughs> so six for impact. One for Shinji. Yeah, I think that's fine. Frankly, that makes it by our own rules. That makes it a good episode. The, it does. Yeah, is it, yeah. What's the best episode? What's what's coming? Oh, on top? I can tell you actually. Let's the, look at the stats. The yeah. best episode we ever had was episode seven, which was Jet Alone. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. And what impact rating did we give that? We gave that nine and a half. <laughs> <laughs> we really went all You're out. Like video game reviewers. <laughs> it's trash or it's amazing. No middle ground, please. <laughs> I hated this game, and the worst bit was when the disc flew out of a drive and cut my chin. <laughs> 9.5 out of 10. Um, 
Jet yeah. Island is good though, isn't it's it? Really, like, it's like, astonishingly good, actually. Yeah. How far better than we remembered it being. And, so yeah. the best episode, um, and again, it's a very subtle scale because mm. you could have a very good episode with a very high Shinji. Yeah. You know, it, they're not. Yeah. They're not mutually exclusive. Yeah, yeah Shin- no. Shinji isn't bad. Not necessarily because we know what he's like. Yeah. It's like so. Best episode was Jet Alone, episode seven, with nine and a half on impact, <laughs> half a Shinji. <laughs> we didn't round up <laughs> there, did in we? It, no. Uh, no, it's true actually. Uh, next best was e- uh, Rebuild 1.11. Oh, okay. Where, which we gave yeah. eight and a half okay. on impact I'm and two Shinjis. Well. Two sh- yeah, because of course it's doing a lot of the early stuff in the series, which was very shinji y. And then, oddly enough, yeah. um, the next best episode was the was the Ramiel fight, the yes. original, oh, which okay. we gave eight. For an impact. Eight impact and three Shinji's. Do you sort of feel a little bit like it might be kind of arbitrary numbers that you're just... Uh... It's always on average between the two of us, Alex. It's a perfect yeah. system. If you start dissing the system, then... Well, no, it's interesting. And I've got to say, um, <laughs> I will <laughs> refer questions. everyone to um, bigpunchstudios.com forward slash podcasts to see a graphical representation yeah, I like that. of uh, the shinji And I think we're getting enough data now where I might actually plot a graph. Yes, we should definitely do a graph. Because oh, yeah. I'm looking at the bars... Like I'm holding it's your catchphrase, isn't it? <laughs> Get out of the t shirt. Yeah, let's look at the graph. I'm getting a. It's interesting, like, um, the absolute Nadir was episode oh. four, which we gave one impact and seven shinjis to. Oh, which is just astonishingly bad. Is that the run who runs away? That's that, the running yeah. away one, and he's just moping yeah. around in yeah. the field. The moping side. So we start. We start. Well, I've got to say, we're getting a. We've ha- we've we it started high. Went down. We've had our first peak, and if you follow the trend, ah. it's dipping slightly. Uh-oh. You know what would be really exciting is to therefore use the graph to predict when the next trough will oh be. Oh my god! And yes. then see if it's right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Extrapolate. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Predictive. <laughs> will this episode be good or bad? You've watched it before. Yes, but <laughs> mathematically <laughs> speak. But can you count when you do the graph? Are you going to put one point one? It doesn't go there, does it? This no, the but, but the next. I get point. the reason why you watched it, but. Uh, Maybe we exclude it from the graph. I don't know. You could do several graphs and let's do know. loads of. Graphs. We're very good at manipulating the data. We made graphs. it work. You know, we we yeah. we're skewing. We'll spin it so, so anyway. Your clever want. theory comes out. Yeah, like, oh, it's, perfectly it's like a it's like the Bible code. Like it only works if you're willing to overlook every if other. You ignore all these factors. This is how Hideaki Anno planned it. Like he knew that, that one point one one would eventually fit back into this. And continuity. if you convert the. Uh, if you convert the Shinji code to binary and then to an uh, uh, an alphabet, yeah, you know, an alphabet, it just says any alphabet you're choosing, whatever works, <laughs> you know, whatever, <laughs> whatever makes most sense. It says um, actually a good show, <laughs> actually a good show, yeah, actually is, a good show, actually, actually yeah. is involved as well. Well, um, <laughs> Alex, I, I feel we're we're entering the uh, the final moments now. The death pod, dying throw. Yeah. <laughs> I we're guess uh, it just won't die. Um, <laughs> But I, I guess it goes without saying. Uh, thank you thank for joining you us. Thank you for having me. Big time thanks. It was I, awesome I've to have very you. much enjoyed it. It's I'm been gonna, awesome. I'm going to demand to be on every show now. <laughs> well, if you've not been too, if you've not been too traumatized, I, and I'm speaking for Nick now. Uh, it's best when you do. Yeah, no, yeah. shut up. Yeah, um, we'd love to love to have you back sometime. I, I, I'm pretty much up for that. So, you know. Well, yeah. let us know because obviously for this one, you you said to us after we'd only released a couple of episodes of the show, you said, "I want to be on that episode." I did. I was so, firm about it. If you have a request, well, how about oh. this time? How about as a crazy suggestion? Oh. We put our graph together. Yes. Oh. We extrapolate on what. Are you we... going to watch the worst one? <laughs> what, <laughs> we, <laughs> what we predict will be the best episode. Oh, okay. oh, that's good. Ever based on the graph? Yeah. Based only mathematics. And we'll invite you back for that episode. Okay. How about that? Yeah. This time, could you give me more than two days' notice when you're going to do no. it? No, that's not the big. That's not how big point <laughs> does it. We don't. We don't you make, get, prom- you get the don't make promises, uh, Alex. Facebook message on a Friday night from Nick Angel. <laughs> Oh, I know it's short notice. You hey, know that made your evening. You, you run a successful business. You've got nothing better to do. Come on over. It's, it's very lucky that it drop everything. Day well, yeah. I'm moving house. No, you're coming here. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. This, just... this time we'll have maths on our side, so we'll know well in advance exactly when this episode. I, I want to ruin this episode. There's a squirrel outside. It's very. <gasps> oh yeah, he comes and goes. I mean, that's, yeah. yeah. To you, that's every day, but to me, this is this is the the peak. Of in a way, it's a metaphor. I feel like really, I mean, the squirrel represents like if you think about the angels as an outside influence. And the yeah. squirrels, so. yeah. and squirrels well, you like, need to jump in with something. Squirrels just... have a very different culture. They do to us. Yeah, the way that but... like they they store things away for winter, whereas we squander our money on you know yeah. anime DVDs. It's deep. In many ways, like we're we're the squirrel. Yeah. The, the buried acorns. 
bits. Evangelion. Our good bits. No, no, yes, that no, we have to find. And the cold hard ground is the series. You watched it. You watched it in your youth and then buried it. And now that you're trying to, you're trying to like squeeze You've some cash out along with the time. podcast. Oh, 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 I see. You dig it up. You dig up the old DVDs. You got to pay, right? I'm glad we had a successful businessman on the show. To yeah, actually put we monetize it. <laughs> T-shirts. We want. What other merchandise? Pens. Uh, oh, uh, thimbles. People love thimble. Thimbles are useful because sometimes I'm sewing. And then you goes might... right in there. Ooh. It takes ages to get it out. I'm like, if I only had some sort of little metal hat for my thumb. Uh, That's what they're designed for, I think. Yeah, one with Nick, one with John. <laughs> yeah, and have little faces yeah, on there. I, I, I would buy those. Well, great. Sort I'm... of out of out of kind of a... Pity? Well, like an obligation because I, you know... <laughs> an like obligation. I was like, hey, God, you made a lot of those, didn't you? <laughs> Ooh, I'd you really went that. all in with the thimbles. Yeah. So like you get um, you know, you get like those custom like stickers for like a Nintendo DS or something. Yeah. Yes. You could do it before a little Walkman. So yeah, so the S DAT. The S yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a big market for that. I'd quite like to get hold of an S DAT. Yeah, I'm, I was just thinking that as well. I was like, <laughs> get one of those. You could you could cosplay as Shinji. You just wear a shirt. Shirt like S-dat black tape, trousers. Awkward S-dat. demeanor. And then just cry constantly. We yeah. do have um, Sean and I. Sean is my, you know, my John to the, the Nick that is me. Um, <laughs> I'm glad you we, chose your Nick. We, yeah, I'm always <laughs> my, you know. I'm sitting on the sofa with you. He's That's over true, there. He's, yeah. just, oh. he's miles away. <laughs> we, we've done the dream. Don't make me come over. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Gendo Akari cosplay, where I, th- I, I think this exists, but you have like a desk mounted on you. Oh, with your just, resting and you go it, like yeah. that. So I'm going to be Kendo and he's going to be Futsuki. But no one will know what we are because we'll do it at like some <laughs> shop event. And people are like, what are you? <laughs> oh, it's from uh, an anime. It's um, from the nineties. You, you wouldn't. <laughs> when we inevitably do the live show, we'll all do it in costume. Yes, we'll all be. Yes, yes. I'm. Yeah. I'm I say we that. on the assumption that like, you will be I, part of this. With no, be. no <laughs> say about it. Try and keep me away. <laughs> well, uh, Alex, um, you know you've honoured us today with your voice and thoughts. Yes. Um, perhaps we can honour you. By giving you the final word, uh, do you have any? The, the floor is yours. Is there anything you want to say as we? Uh, well, no bring this there, to an end. Oh, yeah. let's chat about things for a while then. Do you have anything you want to say though, Alex? Um, anything? Any hate-filled, ill-informed opinion you want to well, spread? There's a lot of those around at the moment. Isn't <laughs> yeah. I try and keep a lid on. In that. keeping with the moment. I think the main thing I think is that no matter how bad your life may be, at least you're not. Shinji Akari, is that right? Hey! That's beautiful. Well, I'm, glad, I'm glad somebody got it. <laughs> I'm we fumble we, through it each time. God knows we don't know. <laughs> yeah. It's been uh, yeah, a pleasure. No, I, don't, I don't really have any, but no, thanks for, thanks for having me. It's been great fun. You know, we'll I, see you again. Don't know if I'm going to listen to this episode or not. That'll be a weird experience. That'll hit the viewer numbers. Like, yeah, we can rate, what, we can, what are the we ways in which we can, we can enjoy the podcast? Because I, I tend to, depending on where I am, if I'm, if I'm listening to my phone, you know, if I'm dossing off at work and, you know, I put I put on YouTube on the phone. Okay. If I'm at home, I use the Big Punch website. Are there other, are there other ways? Well, I'm, that... gl- I'm glad you asked, yeah. Alex, if I completely unseeded. Uh, <laughs> no, that was though, wasn't it? It was actually. Yeah. 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 Um, well, it's available on our website for free. <gasps> yeah. uh, you can charge. stream it directly from a website. You can stream it from our SoundCloud page. Yep. Simply That's search for Big Punch Studios on SoundCloud. Uh, it's available on all major podcast providers mm-hmm. so get yourself any podcast app it will just look for big punch it will just turn up and you'll get regular subscriptions is that and is it just the just uh, nick and john is the evangelion available or other, yeah no other uh, if you've already searched like i don't know big punch that evangelion podcast i'll just mean, give you a chance to plug the other ones oh yeah oh no we listen to this one but don't listen to what uh, that's a great idea alex um <laughs> we do have we do have an assortment of other podcasts we have uh morning coffee which is john's sort of uh morning coffee thoughts ego yeah. trip um yeah we have big punch classic which uh, refers back to the origin of the the name Big Punch Studios and the guys behind that, which were John and John's school friends, and they have a podcast together. Mm. We have Dual Masters, which is a podcast which uh, Ali and I do together, where we're working our way through these ancient two-player choose-your-own-adventure books that we found oh, okay. on eBay, um, which uh, is quite a big production, actually, because it involves Foley and sound effects from Lucy. Yeah, who's <laughs> doing a hell of a lot of work on that. <laughs> yeah, it's actually yeah. turning out to be quite cinematic. It's pretty awesome. It's not as simple as this, where we just sit down on two sofas and... Uh, yeah, this, was, this felt very difficult, I have to say. It's yeah, it was traumatic. Example. Example. And then Lucy also has a podcast, uh, First Chair Fantasy, where she reviews and talks about uh, fantasy stories. Mm-hmm. And um, we've done three episodes of movie works, and maybe yes, one day we we'll do another where we, uh, but we then t- talk over movies. Potentially, oh, uh, nice. biggest of all is the Punchcast. Oh, mm-hmm. of course, which yeah. um, is all four of the members of Big Punch Studios sat- sitting down to just talk about stuff that they've 
we've consumed, got into, and have done as well towards our Big Punch various products and stories. But it's recorded only for our patrons. Indeed. So if you want to be, uh, want to, yeah, uh, have a listen to that, then all you have to do is go on to patreon.com forward slash Big Punch Studios. And, uh, and yeah, pledge a little bit. Uh, for as little as one dollar a month. That's all it has to be. Not only will you help us do everything we do, which is make games and comics and whatnot, and uh, but yeah, you'll gain ac- access to the punch cask and indeed free downloads of um, all our podcasts. Of everything. Ooh, yeah, that sounds like excellent value for money, guys. <laughs> as a business owner. <laughs> Why? Thank you, stranger. <laughs> thank you, anonymous <laughs> person we met in the street. <laughs> <laughs> that unsolicited comment was brought to you by <laughs> mm-hmm. a business owner. I, a lot of these independent projects tend to peter out. That's what I've found. I've, it's been said. <sighs> but luckily, I'm, I'm keen to see this going strong. <laughs> In many Episode ways, 10. our entire careers are built on spite. Just to, uh, just <laughs> to like prove someone fighting wrong. Fighting back against people who said we couldn't do it. But on that note, should we put a pin in it? Yes. Let's do it. Do the, do the outro. Well, um, you I, what, do it, let's do the, Should we do the, uh, the call and response? Oh, okay. Right. Can you feel... Right, so unprofessional. Let's, let's just say it first so that I can remember the exact wording. Yeah. But... So, however bad, I mean, and of course I'm going to say this, I'm not going to yeah, cut. No, that's <laughs> yeah. yeah. How, however bad your life may be, you could always be Shinji Akari. Yeah. Now I say that a lot. So yeah. why don't you two do it at the so same time? What? So we're saying the start. No, I'll, I'll just I'll, say, I'll, 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 say I'll just sit out. And like, like, so my bit... Alex, however bad your life may be, you could always be Shinji Akari. <laughs>